did you do that? How did you do that? <laughs> People, welcome to the stream. Fuck, I forgot to do the thing. I need to get out of the habit. Hold on. It's very unprofessional when you have goals set and you forget to reset them when you achieve them. So we hit the bits goal yesterday and I forgot to reset the fucker. So get... Just just look to one side and pretend you can't see this. That way, um... Nobody gets to go, hey, you're that streamer that forgets to do his stuff and things. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Where the fuck has it gone? You can't even see the screen I'm looking at, so I don't know what the fuck I'm asking you. Uh, thank you for the fart. That'll keep me busy for a second. Reset goal. <gasps> Nobody saw it happen. Brilliant. We're good. We're back to normal. Right. Who have we got? Uh, YouTube. Insidious, Funky Monkey, CJ Shadow, and Henry. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. And on Twitch, we've got loads more people uh, actually typing already. There's people on both platforms. Some like to lurk. That's fine. Um, Lena, Skellington, Dark, Karate Kid, Darth Kitty. Um, with a resub, actually. Thank you very much. Waggly Aphid, Lonely Girl, Sleepy, Fless, CGI Shadows, Squatilia Gaming, Harsh, Peon Grim, Pad63, Gravy, Unforgiven Carpet, and Barcode Guy. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream, people. Woof. What a day. Really busy one. Actually, I only had two hours off today. I mean, I normally get no hours off, but we had food and watched one episode Chicken of some Disney time. stuff. Chicken Attack, thank you very much. Alex Lubinsky, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. I completely butchered your name. 
I got it right eventually. David, how you doing as well? Welcome Hello to the stream. There. Don't be dead, Claw. Welcome. Hello there. Kest, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. I haven't even logged into the fucking game yet. That's technically a lie. I've been in the game all bloody day, just not on this server. Can't tell you. Doing stuff and things. For reasons. No spoilers for you. Um, what the fuck am I using today? I really want to use them again. But I have to wait. Because we want to get the new stuff. Actually, I do need to go on to him and sell all the stuff I got yesterday. I forgot. I need to empty the bags. Harsh has been on the stream 30 days in a row. That's mad. You must like it here. Yay, one month. I guess. Depends. If it's February, it's over a month. May I ask what you do since you have such long days? You can, but it's it's vague and broad and, and confusing to some. Um, so the short answer is you get to see about three hours worth of my day. That's me streaming and entertaining two audiences because I'm on Twitch and YouTube. The rest of it is content creating and other parts of the business. So website stuff, one-to-ones, uh, potential um, new content or updated content. There's all sorts of stuff that happens all day long. So you see a small proportion of it. Um, outside of that, I can't really explain too much because some of it is no one's business, but Drinks lots of stuff. Uh, King Viper, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. DJ, not J DJ, JD even. Uh, Porsche, how you doing? Welcome to the stream as well. I'm playing too, just so lurking. Okay, no problem. King Viper, welcome, welcome, and thank you for the, the three stream streak. But yeah, Kill Switch, I do, um, the, the content creating business itself, regardless of where you are in it, is, is a lot more than what you just see on screen. So... As, as vague as that is. Working. All day. Every day. Um, Where did I get to? Tash, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Right, I need to sell stuff on this dude. Uh, we'll go to a normal merchant, actually, because I need to repair as well while I'm there. Run, run, run. Yes, he's got a mega horse. Be jealous. Goes with his eyes. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Right. Keep that for my other character. Actually, I don't need that at all. Maybe I do. That's getting sold. Oh my god! <laughs> Ravikus Maximus has just now dropped 10 gifted subs before he's even said hi. How you doing, Zynich? How you doing, dude? Welcome to the stream. What the fuck indeed? Beer and cake in the chat, people. Ravikus Maximus is now up to a whopping 1,595 gifted subs on the channel. You're an animal, dude. Thank you very much. You're doing a great job on YouTube, so thanks for that. You are most welcome, and thank you very much, Kill Switch. Happy Friday. HG Wells, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Here's a ninja button for you. Have a shout out if anyone can be bothered to do it. Hopefully they can. <laughs> I'll do your own. I don't mind. Uh, I've got so much shit to sell. For people that have been um, anticipating the, uh, the release of Update 41 on console, if you are intending on making the Tempest build, make it now. Infinite Archive currently is dropping the live wire stuff. So if you need that shit, get it before someone tries to swindle you with a price that you cannot pay. Because some people are doing that. You know, the ones that say, don't use that build, it's shit. But they're equally at the same time rank cranking up the prices to like 500k a weapon. Yeah, those ones. <laughs> uh, fellow on, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much indeed for the resub. You are the Dragonborn. I'm pressing it. Dragonborn. <laughs> You know the rules, people to fight. That's good for scratch. If you kill the dragonborn, you'll take a place in the stream. I have to kill you instead. Thank you very much. I'm going to build that one. It's Maggot. Dude, it's fucking insane. You've already got it. Waggly A for the start of the hype train, people. Let's go. 1,000 bits opens up your first ninja star, but I can see you've already got one. So you've got another boost towards your next one. Thank you very much indeed. Welcome to the stream. Hype train o'clock, people. It's uh, hype train level two already due to the subs and bits. And we are 20% into that level two, only 30 seconds into the hype train. So go nuts. Subs and bits will move the train. We are also 10% into the bits goal already, and we've only just started the stream. That is mega. Rivy, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. How much money is on this dude now, just from doing three infinite archives? 56 fucking K. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Um, Where's the banker? There you are. Glenn Martin, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, this can all go in the bank, so I'm going to squash up another character, because he cannot squash stuff. And get the benefits because he doesn't have the passes for it. So fuck him. This can all go in there and I'll get the materials out of those later. That can stay there. That can stay there. Money can go in the bank apart from 5k of it. So. Uh, no, that'll work. 
Thank you, Typhus. Mm, 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 mm. Waggly Afer just moved the hype train again, by the way, people. 2,000 bits. Thank you very much. The bits gold is now up to 30%. Fuck, that was quick. You are a legend. Show off your ninja stars. If you bought bits, by the way, your first 1,000 ever on the channel will unlock your first ninja star badge and emote. You keep it forever because you bought it. There are more. Show them off if you've got them, people. Rob, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Um, who else has got the money? Punk bag. He's got money. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <sighs> Council pop. Flavoured with some stuff. I don't know what it is. Also, I need to check the crown store because there was something I wanted off of this. Um, where have you gone? Not that, not that, not that, not that, not that. Featured. I'm already on featured. There's a weapon set. I hope it's still there. Did I get it? I must have gotten it. It's hard to keep up because I got it on another... Ah, uh, maybe I got it on another server. Mm, wasn't that. Got a couple of those already. That is actually kind of small. Never mind. Upgrade utility. Who was that? Belleron, thank you very much. You have just healed yourself with those bits, by the way. Show off your ninja star. Thank you very much. You have pushed the hype train to 60% into level 2. Two minutes from Anan. If you push it to the next level, you'll open up another level for another five minutes. Also, bit skull, 40%. Let's go. Um, Did I miss it on this server? I must have done. I think I did, you know. Oh, you're such a noob. How did I miss it? Hello, motherfucker. Pretty sure I have that already. Um, Hello, motherfucker, to you as well. Where the fuck did it go? YouTube's having a fit. Don't worry, it will be back. That happens a lot. Ah, there it is. No question. Buying it instantly. I buy all the weapon packs on every single server. Normally before I look at them. But if you haven't seen these already, I'm going to show them off because they're mega. That is quite cool. Yes. That is kind of awesome. That is mega. Love that. And the sword is really bloody cool. It's kind of poison tipped with... with Lava coming out of it at the same time. Madness. Anyway, that's done. Was that the molten armor set? No, it wasn't the molten armor set. Look. Do, do, do. I can't remember where it is now. Where did it go? I just bought it. Do you know what, wanker? Shut up. You saw it. Stop making me go backwards. Uh, the sword goes the hardest. Yes. It, it goes. Dreadsail Reef, and I'm not going to get them out because I haven't been on this server enough because I've been on the PC server during my streams apart from the last couple days or so. So rip. Um, Riding Speed doesn't need it. How much money has he got in his person? 100k. What are you doing with 100k? Put it in the bank. Carry cash like that around? Fuck me. Um, Deposit gold. 95k of it. Keep 5k on me. Beautiful. Typhus, you're mega. Do, 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 do. Hype train's going to derail, but for those of you that took part, you're going to have emotes. Show them off when you get them. Cool ninja stars. Dragon's got a 500k ninja star. Look at that. How you doing, Dragon? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Not punk bag. We need this one. Show them off. But I like it when you go backwards and upside down. You are fucking weird. We're not going there. Uh, Sorka's busted and I love it. Hello, DKs and Nightblades. Get ready. We've been waiting a long time, you sons of bitches. Jason, welcome to the stream. Thank you for announcing stuff on my stage. Did you want to say hi? <laughs> Hello, DK and Nightblades. Yeah, the new update is fucking nuts, dude. I've already made videos about it. So just in case you missed that and you've only just figured it out, put YouTube in the chat. Um, good evening, everyone. Damn, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Um, do I need to take... Mm. No, we'll do that first. We'll get the money out of the bank. Big Love stop lurking for the last two streams as I've almost done prepping for the Jubilee already. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Yep, that's coming up. Um, we're close. Deposit, no, withdraw. Withdraw all the money. Not Telvar. All the money. Yes. Boing. Bad Quanta, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. 
I need to decon some stuff. And this. We could do. Went through it and unlocked the Geyser Daily on all 20 characters on the main server. Nice! Hello, Zion, everyone. Lardy Daddy, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Um, how many people on PlayStation EU are intending on using the Infinite Archive Lazy Sork when Update 41 lands and haven't currently acquired the Livewire weapons, i.e. I. the Lightning Staff? So that was quite a, a straightforward question. Are you making the build on console, on PlayStation EU, and do you have the weapon yet? If you don't have the weapon, wave. Boing, boing. I'm going to swap characters. I'm hoping everyone's got it already, because market tankers out there are fuckers. You might. Why does no one ever give a straight answer when there is clearly a straight answer? I quite the staff still making the rest for the build. Noise. You got the jewelry and the chest and all that shit. Don't know. Are you on EU? I'm on every single server that exists, but at the moment I'm on PlayStation EU. Yes. This is what we do. This is how you play the game. You run around in cool armor, jumping and shouting boing every time you do it. Makes perfect sense. Need the ring and the staff of mine. Hi, Zion Ninjas. Spy, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Okay, so everyone that is farming that staff right now, if you are trying to get it, hey, whisper listen. me in game. This is free from the zone story. That's not what I asked, Harsh. I'm very aware where the stuff drops. I make the fucking build. I said, do you have it? I really need to spend more time on you. <laughs> yes, you do. Oh dear, cool. I just watched uh, 10 ads two times in a row. The things I do for you, Zai. <laughs> Sky, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for watching the adverts. Were they at least entertaining? Uh, that's my thing. I'm a jumper. Boing. That's what it's for. In MMOs, generally speaking, the jump button is absolutely fucking useless. It's very, 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 very... And someone's going to go, well, technically, there's a place where you can shut up. No one's fucking talking to you. Generally speaking, most of the time, in most MMOs, the jump button is useless. It just makes you do this. That's it. So we add sound effects. Boing, boing. And everybody knows if you play on PC on any platform, uh, uh, sorry, any game, you just spam the space bar all the time while jumping down a fucking hill. It's not even anything to do with mechanics whatsoever, but everyone does it. So that's what the boing is for. Uh, technically, have a good day. Shut up, Zero. I mean, hi. Jumping is saying hi. Is it? See, it's getting confusing because this and this... And this, and this, and this, is all high. At the same time as fuck you. So what are we really supposed to do? How are we supposed to fucking figure it out? You just make it up as you go along, don't you? You can't read text with a tone of voice because you'll get the wrong fucking angle. But when someone does this, what do you do? Do you say hello or do you tell them to fuck off teabagging? You can't win. Whatever you think is going to end up in an argument. Everyone is better with avoiding sound effects. Yes, it is. There's even emotes for it. Uh, hello, my brother. So excited for the console drop. Yes, me too. I've been playing it on PC, obviously, and then on PTS for fucking weeks. But it's when it lands on your main server, that's when it's much exciting. Boing! Both we are conflicted people. <laughs> um, read that already. Hi, you same. Hi, fuck you. Same difference. I mean, technically, yeah. Depending on who you're talking to. The hashtag offended. Genu See, that's the thing. Genuinely offended people. Like, the ones that are, are, are scarred from an insult. Like, oh my god. They would be really, really precious about it. They would actually genuinely get upset and maybe cry or, or walk off. And, and, and try not to give eye contact. And, and be really upset. But that's not the case. I'm fucking offended! That's an attack, dickhead. <laughs> When someone isn't intentionally offending, trying to offend someone, and you mouth off in their face, you're the attacker. Okay? So if someone says something wrong that you disapprove of, just let them know politely. Look, dude, I don't, I don't really like that that much. You don't have to start shouting in their face because you've switched it. Their, their intention was not to be aggressive or, or, or offensive, but you decided to take it that fucking way and then shout in the face. Good job. 
Um, I mean, you voice redeem. What the fuck? You have a voice redeem that encapsulates it. Hello, motherfucker. I do indeed. Jump equals online ADHD. No, it's just everyone thinks it's cool when you do this. And it is. <laughs> oh, dear. So we've got no one that wants to get the staff. Well, fuck you then. I was going to help you find the world bosses. Now I won't bother. Oh, we've got one person. Raddy needs it. Live where I such a giggle. I just want everyone to hit me. It, I mean, the set's been there ever since Clockwork City. And it's always done exactly as it does now since Clockwork City. The difference is, stasis effects being improved means that every time you get hit, once every six seconds, that goes bang and it does a fuck ton more than it used to. Jump is in a win. That's why we do it. it I, I, we're kind of... <laughs> People don't understand. It's supposed to be funny. It's supposed to be funny because it is annoying. That's why we boing, boing, boing for those at the back. Go, oh my god, Sharp, you're so annoying. That's what it's for. Um, I only in PvP because it does nothing. Yeah, because it doesn't do shit. The intention is to put someone off with their targeting, but everything's locked on. As long as you aim at the person when you fire it, even if they jump, it's still going to hit them. So, whoops. Do we have anyone else that needs a clockwork? Um, Not clockwork, the live wire stuff. If you're going for the Infinite Archive, Lazy Sork, on the PlayStation EU server, ready for the new update. If you're going for it, whisper me now. I'm going to save you a lot of fucking pain. Maybe you won't get it. Maybe you will. But for those people that can't be fucking bothered to go do it themselves, whisper me. Does Status Pro need any change in Front Day 41? If it did, it would have a video. And there's not enough time yet to do all the videos because it's only been out for a fucking week on PC. You're going to have to be patient. Does it need it? No, you can still play it as it is. Will you get one? You will have to wait and see. I'm not fucking telling you. No spoilers. Uh, on the real though, jumping does help aiming in some places due to random rocks. Do you know? Mm, yes, it does. Because, I, it, and this is the problem, right? This is like what I said earlier when I was trying to talk broadly about something. And I was generalizing. You always get that one person that goes, well, actually, you're doing that. We know that. We're just saying in general, boingy, boing, boing, boing. You just actually the chat. But I'm going to half side with you on that one because you will see me do that in content all the time. If I can't see the person I'm trying to chain, I will do that and do a wicked jump chain like this. I do that. You'll see it in the Infinite Archive if something's stuck on the top of the stairs. Wing. We've got two people so far. Two people that want the staff. I mean, I'm a one million karma redditor. What do you expect? Oh, fuck me. You're not one of those people, are you? Oh, that's painful. You caught the stupid disease. Oh, no. You need to go and sneeze into a corner at the same time as turning your phone upside down and off, and you will be cured. I heard that that works. Uh, halfway to nowhere, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Otherwise, stuff is 150k on PCU. Glenn, you got to keep up, dude. I'm way ahead of you. We've been talking about it for the last fuck knows how many minutes, and I've been trying to get people involved if they want it. I'm aware people are bumping up the price. The shit canoes that tell you not to use it are the ones that are bumping the prices up because they know it's fucking good. Uh, I'm patient zero. <laughs> Bad Quantas started it. He's responsible for Reddit. Confirmed. Um, I found the Boston Clockwork just a couple of weeks ago. So, of course, it went into Infinite Archive very soon after. Yeah, it's actually on the loot table now. <laughs> uh, what did you do, Zero? Uh, found out an excellent news about an hour ago in November. I'm going to be a grandpa. My youngest daughter is expecting. Congratulations. Hello, There's the button. Thank you for the hello, motherfucker. Does anyone else want to come kill these world bosses and get lightning staves for these individuals that are trying to get it? <laughs> cool fart. You'll never hear that anywhere else. Jesse, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Twitch and YouTube. You have any good healer PvP builds? So, I have multiple healer builds on the channel that are good, yes. Um, but they're not technically for PvP, but here's the thing. They're not designed to kill a PvE target. They're designed to help a person live. So technically, any healer can heal in PvP. Are you specifically taking advantage of things that might um, only work versus players? No. But you are capable of healing. And since those builds are designed to heal really, really well, like really high heals, yes, they will function. You have to be careful though. Because you're not built for PvP, whatever that means, um, you are a target and you will die first. So be careful. But any of the builds will be fine. Take into consideration that you might be squishy on the most part. But um, 
Cleric will do very well because Cleric is as tanky as a tank. Cooking, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, if you found me on the web, I can come help since I don't need any of the gear to stick a book. That'll work. Okay, so we've got two people that need the stuff. Anyone else that wants to fucking help to kind of increase our RNGs? Whisper me, we're going to go kill the world bosses in clockwork and get the people the stuff that they so desperately need. Because market tankers, this is what happens. Shitty people. Not 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 scalpers. I mean, it's a it's a living, isn't it? You gotta do it. I understand it. But there are people out there that will try to force you to believe that you should not be using anything on the channel because everything on the channel is shit. Those same individuals are the ones that are trying to capitalize on your wallet at the moment by making sure that they go and get those staves and put the price up really, really high so the noob's gotta pay, bro. Well, guess what? Well, that may be part and parcel of the supply and demand market. I don't want you to struggle too hard. I want you to fucking get it. So I'm going to run one group today where we're going to run and farm those fucking bosses. And if you get it, you get it. And if you don't, you don't. Take advantage of it or do not. Uh, how do you whisper in game? Forward slash whisper space Zynode gaming or one word. Then space again. Bless is joining. Sleggy's joining. Unforgiven Carpet is joining. And, and to make it even easier, I'm a tank. So you can't fucking fail it. Why is that doing some weird shit? Go to the bottom, please. Deadly daggers after Necrom. No, 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 no. That's that's not a new thing, and that's not a thing just then. It, that was always a thing. Ever since they were um, accessible, they have been expensive because it's popular. Love the cleric is my only healer. Nice. Play PS5 NA servers. I'm at one. I I'm assuming it's 150. I'm actually. Do you know what? Since you're announcing it, I'm assuming it's 1,500. Let me bump this up. It is 150, but I need to make a tune for EU. Make one in. Nothing stopping you. Uh, target mummy. I've been in a group B before. Miss, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Do -do 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 -do. Just bear in mind, on your main server, or on any server you're on, your champion points carry over to other characters. Um, if you've got a different server, it's like you've started again. Um, Evens, I hope you're well. I'm getting there. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Bless Cheese Muppet. Welcome to the stream as well. Let's go kill these bosses. Jump in does make target harder in PvP. It may only be worth like 0.5% DR, but it, I'll take it. <laughs> Stop making up numbers. That's a made up number. <laughs> Look, if someone, if someone looks at you and fires a light attack and you jump, the light attack will still hit you. You can't dodge it with a jump. You can only dodge it with a dodge. That's why it's called dodge. If you jump and they've already fired, they're hitting you. And if they lock you and you jump, they're hitting you anyway. <laughs> uh, about to have some supper. Awesome. Asterial has brought food for the rest of the class, I'm assuming. Uh, did anyone else whisper me? No, we've got, some, we've got some ninjas, people. Bear in mind, while we're trying to do this to make sure we help people... Do not go YOLOing into the room and start trying to kill the boss in front of everyone on TV just because you think you're really cool. Wait for the bloody group, because otherwise they don't get shit all. Uh, made a nice pot of chili. Excellent. Did you put it in the guild hall where the food should go so all the ninjas can have some too? Uh, you have to duck like Street Fighter, Bosma, OP, and ESO. No, because they still have the same hitbox. Now, the only time that's a, that is a problem, by the way, Bad Quanta, is, is fucking Goldeneye. You know, because everyone wants to be odd job. Because it's cheating. Because the, the, the auto lock doesn't work with that fucker. Not unless you're ducked. That or um, Robofish in fucking Time Splitters. 0.05%, bro. It's made up. It's still made up. You made that up out of thin air. There is no stat on the internet that says if you jump. <laughs> People are less likely to hit you by 0.05%. No matter how well, <laughs> how well you spell bro, it's still made up. Uh, what else would you do? We'll wait for the other people. It's a habit that you can't get out of. You jump all the time in COD because you're trying to avoid bullets that aren't locked on. So you jump in other games. That's all it is. Um, learn that it doesn't work. However, if you're going to jump, jump. Whatever. Just make sure you shout boing. Otherwise, you're not doing it properly. We're going to wait for... Uh, Better on to get here. <laughs> oh dear. People do that in trials as well. You see them doing this. Like, what are you doing? Oh, it's just what I, that's just how I play in COD. It's not COD. Get over it. Do you try to um, wind the pedals in a car because you're used to a push bike? No. That's about as valid as that. 
Understand the game you're playing and utilize your skills within it. Um, I think I whispered you. I think you didn't. I know you didn't, actually, because I didn't get one. Because I witnessed the side movements yesterday. Dude, it's fucking exhausting watching, because you know what sort of egotistical fuck you're dealing with when you see that. It's painful. Um, might try to make it. I've read that one already. There you go, thinking again. I know. I thought I was thinking, but I wasn't. Um, people have got companions and everything. They put all the stuff in. Ready? Go! People that go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right when they're trying to fight a boss in a fucking trial think they're better than they are. They do not understand the game anywhere near as much as they think they do. And this one as well. Backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. Stop it! You are not good. You are failing hard. Stop it. Uh, there's like 50 damage. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, 50? Another made up number. Uh, now we're going to run to the other boss. And we are running. Because we're going to give everyone a chance to use their mounts. Uh, play on. No, I read that one already. Read that as well. Jiggle your character is like jiggling your shifter. Yes, I know. Damn well it is in neutral. I am still going to check. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> Everybody does it though. It's so fucking annoying. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna shake the uh shake the gay stick a bit. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely in neutral. You know it's in neutral. You stopped, you put it in neutral, it's not in gear, it's not moving. You know. Hey, listen! <laughs> Someone's gonna do a fart. Pauline, do it. I got stuck. Because I got attacked by a bug that no one else is going to help me kill. Thank you for that. Thanks for leaving me all by myself. Thank you. Unforgiven Carver just wrecked it. Now I can't get on my fucking mount. So you're going to have to deal with my, my walk speed. Who's pulling stuff? I hate that when you're in Cyrodiil. And there's 20... Oh, there's not maybe 20 of you. But there's, there's millions of you. And one person aggroes a fucking goblin from nowhere. And you can't get on your bastard mount. Like, you've got a plan... To get to a keep nice and quick and take everything out. But some twat always aggro shit. Are we trolling? Yeah, I'm aware. You don't have to explain chicken that. Don't worry. Attack. You only have to explain it to idiots. Chicken Thank attack. you for the chicken attack. Right, whoever's aggro and is... If you've aggroed something and no one can get on their horse, kill the fucking prick. This is a failed group. It's like, it's like herding fucking cats. How many people are there that could have killed that that know full well that I can't get on my fucking mount until you kill the cunt? Oh my god! Thank you! Okay, you're all nice people again now. Let's go. Oh god, it's you, is it? Red does it? There's always one in Cyrodiil, though. You have a fucking huge Zerg. There's so many of you. And you're trying desperately... I'm stuck now. That was me. I'm trying. You're trying desperately to get on your mount. And you tell people, I can't get on my mount because you're in combat. And you'll always get that one dude that's trying to constantly just pull everything. Just can't help it. And you're like, dude, can you just stop? Because I can't get on my mount. Yeah, I know. Well, the keep's being taken over now, so well done. Great team play. On cry on <laughs> be bossy like PvPers. <laughs> oh, dear. You know why people shout on crown, don't you? Not because um, you should follow the crown, which you should. But because the reason you hear it so much is because no one... Fucking does it. I've gone the wrong way as well. Oh. Uh, I'm swimming. Fuck it. Because uh, they're dying. Yeah, indeed. Someone always fucks it up. I'm not supposed to be swimming, but I got I went the wrong way because I was reading chat. Uh, I find a wolf and now need to bring the cat mounts in Cyrodiil. You an Argonian? Fuck your fast. You're not an Argonian. He is as well. He is an Argonian. That lizard boy up there. Fast as fuck. We'll use the waste dry next time, but... The run was worth it. Oh, get on the mount, you fucking noob. My my um character is thick as shit. It's the best class for a returning player. There is no such thing as best. It is your preference. Every single class can play every single role effectively. It just depends on what you prefer. Um, Good evening. Good evening. Kind, funny, sir. Matthias, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Good evening. Shady Milkman, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Do not pull the boss until everyone's in the room, because that would be rude. Unless someone else is already fighting it, in which case, get it. Boing. Who are we waiting for? Target mummy is miles away. How are we in, in combat? 
Shouldn't be. Strange. Uh, what class do you enjoy the most? I don't have a favorite. I play everything. I have a main, but I don't have a favorite. Uh, easy high elf, one bar stalk if you want to be lazy. <laughs> Fair. It's choice, and, and people don't understand that generally. They're like, well, there must be a best. I refuse. Oh, I love that. Typical Reddit response. I refuse to believe there isn't a best. Refuse away. Where does that get us? We don't need to talk anymore because you've made your decision. And now you're kicking your feet in the corner because you refuse. Okay. Use what you like. Other games are very linear. Yes. This is not. Uh, I'm sorry I'm late. I have missed this. But stream takeover. No, it's not a stream takeover. Update 41 going to be like console Monday. Um, Tuesday, I think. What day is it today? Do, 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 do. Tuesday. Should be Tuesday. 26. Ready? Everyone's in. Best isn't easiest and fun. Fun is subjective. I know it doesn't matter how many ways you try to re uh, reword it. The answer is the same. Personal preference. What the fuck was that? It got melted. The only reason he's not dead is because he's in the air. Rip. To be fair, a second combat. Uh, second combat bug does give 100% up time on a death dealer's fate. Wing. It's today, right? No, it's not today. Today is fr. Wanker. You put Friday with a question mark, which made no sense. Then everyone else was talking, and then you just go, is today, right? Why don't you do it all in one sentence? That way, things don't get confused, and then my job is not as difficult as it needs to be. <laughs> oh, dear. Sorry. As difficult as it needs to be. Yeah, basically. I can make things so much simpler, but no. Wanker has to make it worse for me. I can't can't have an easy day. I think, hey, do you know what? Got the hang of this today. It's a difficult job, but I've took some of the edge off. And then Wanker comes in and just sledgehammers the fuck out of it and confuses everyone. Um, hello, Tiny Ninja. Stein, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, attempting Vatashrine this weekend on the latest talk. Get it done, Mafia, so you're going to love it. Uh, just wait, Shrine. We're going we're gonna to jump from one place to the other now that we've got them. Um, but choose maybe bears and poison sneaky cats. Play all the tunes. Okay, fine. Um, but how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Have my stuff. I want to breathe fire to fire days. Oh, super. I want to breathe fire days or skulls. Arcanist is super flexible. Everything's flexible. It, it doesn't matter how, how you reword it or how you underline what you do or can't weave as much. If you, ch you have to be careful what you listen to. People deal with absolutes all the time when there is a fuck ton more choices. Twitch being twitchy. I couldn't give any less fucks. Nothing I can do about it. Um, just got home from work. Fair enough. As long as to be honest, it's also doing lazy sword would be... Un un that's someone else's. Green power first. Um, if you're using the lazy sword, it doesn't matter which way you go around. But yes, that would be more helpful for you. Uh, three days in a row. No pants. Noise. Bob and Weaven, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Again, you have one skill with the Arcanist. That is a, perm is, is a constant channel. Technically two if you count the Healy version. Um, that's the only thing that changes how often you weave. Every other skill is uh, either a, a short, very short duration channel, so under a second, or um, an instacast. So again, the timing is still the same with the global cooldowns. Um, Velofi makes weaving less important. No, no it doesn't. Understand what words really mean. It makes weaving less impactful. It does less. It doesn't make you do it more or do it less. It makes the damage output different. Um, what guys are farming for? Um... Lightning stuff of uh, Livewire. Again, that's the reason I answer my own questions rather than other people jumping in for me. Is because it's very, very easy on the internet to say something as, as incredibly absolute as you like. But when people want a real answer, um, they get confused. Or they just one-way tunnel. I know what you really mean, but do they? So people will very often give an extreme straight answer to something rather than letting you know how something actually works. Not to over exaggerate things or overemphasize stuff. It's just a case of if you're trying to really understand things, you need to know by definition what they do and don't do. You, it's not you don't need to weave with that. I mean, you still can because your glyphs will fire. It's that it does less damage. They're two different things entirely. Um, less than 100k on a dummies delete the game. What? So freaking ready for Zai, you know, you know man. <laughs> Fuck the dummy. Uh, do you know what? Some people do. Uh, 
It's, it's not wrong to help people, but be sure that you're offering the correct information rather than duplicating stuff that other people have said and kind of missed out the details. Uh, only a stiff deals in absolutes, Obi-Wan. I'm aware. I use the, the reference all the time on stream. Uh, Axe of Mad Tinkerer. Rip. Next, boss. I didn't have the way shrine. Does anyone actually pick up the way shrine over here last time? Because if you did, go to it. I'm not going to travel to you. Um, Hello there. <laughs> how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Mid-sentence. What's mid-sentence? Oh, I read that. Twitch is twitchy. Tough. I can't fix that. It's Twitch. Mm -mm 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 -mm. YouTube has been knocking out a little bit as well. Does it all the time. Uh, who's got the, the way shrine in this area somewhere? I do have it on my main, just not on this fucking character. Do, 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 do. Wrong chat. What happened? 2050 on absolute is an absolute. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, on me. You've got it? Excellent. Social group. Travel to king. Get a new way shrine. We did the run the first time, but we found out that uh, while we did make it, and it was kind of fun, we had at least one irresponsible person that pulled something and just kept running while they knew I was off my horse. So I'm telling mum. He has far more mechanics when you solo him. Yes, he does. Less important, not less use, not useless. It's not less important. It's still very important to weave. Hello, very important. It's just that it does less. Glyphs and ultimate gen are important. Yes, they are. So it's not less important. It's equally as important. It just does less damage. They are different. If you want to trigger your ulti regen and your glyphs and all that kind of stuff, you will still need to weave as much as you normally do. But you are punished less damage wise by not weaving from the weaves themselves if you use it because your other stuff is inflated um anyone need you got a resto and a bow do, 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 do. You have to understand that I speak to fucking thousands of people and I understand the extremes between someone that completely understands absolutely everything off the mark and someone that can't grasp absolutely anything. So when you do deal in complete absolutes but you miss real details, that's when people do get confused and they spend so much time doing what they don't want to do because they didn't get it the first time. Consider scale from one extreme to the other as far as skill is concerned, as far as um, ability to absorb information is concerned. And if there is more to know, then I make sure that people know it. And if there is inaccuracies, I try to at least find that out. As semantic as that may be, so is the initial statement. Um, hello, Zai. Hello, everyone. I bet the man is hitting harder after patch 41. Which one? Does it always make sense of things? I try to. I Sometimes they completely fuck it up. Do -do -do -do. Jig Easy, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Also, stuff changes all the time. Look at status effects, for example. Well, the thing is, status effects um, have always been there. It's just that stupid people dismiss them. But in update 41, they have buffed a lot of them. I say a lot of them because not all of them are buffed. Some of them are balanced. They're all balanced because they're all supposed to kind of hit the same standard. Um, whereas before they didn't. But some have been brought slightly down in order to make sense of that. Uh, what's the activity on the stream tonight? We are farming the crap out of the world bosses in um, Clockwork City to help people that are trying to build the Lazy Sork for the new update. Because market tankers have tanked the shit out of that stuff since the build video went up. And anyone that needs the fucking staff, we're going to go and try and get it for them. Um, I'm a nurse in real life. Nothing is ever an absolute. See? There you go. Um, read that already. Read that already. Why are we running? Fuck running. I'm traveling. It's going to cost you gold. Fuck gold. No, I'm going to keep that. Put it on the bank, didn't I? The toxicity DK. Everything does, dude. Anything that did status damage will technically hit harder with the status damage. But if any skills have been adjusted, you will notice that they've kind of been dropped in order to cover that. And then you might find yourself somewhere in the middle. But the short version is, <laughs> as it stands, if you are using it in its current state, yes, you will hit harder. Uh, hello mate, how are you today? Keep a build is effing solid. I told you, dude. Don't, for the love of fuck, do not read the comment sections. You will find some of them the least educated players ever talking about all the things they think they know. They missed out so much. They didn't even watch the fucking video. 
Do you have a super quick take on Blighted Bones versus Greyblood? So I actually do. Um, I made a video about it, which you obviously didn't watch. So now I'm not going to talk to you. I'm joking. Yes, of course I can explain it. Uh, both for Stam and Mag Crow. So, so Mag and Stam Crow is, is, is by definition not a real thing. The only way to do that is to make sure that every single skill you use costs Magicka and everything that you spec into is Magicka and everything that you do is magical or else. Hybridization changed the fucking game. Anything that costs anything can go anywhere. Your highest bar is the one it scales off of, whether that be Mag or Stam. Doesn't matter about the cost, except for a couple of Arcanist skills. Generally speaking, before, if you had something that cost Mag, it would need Mag to boost it. Doesn't anymore. Your highest stat is the contributor. So if you had nothing but magic of skills and a fucking huge stamina bar, it would scale off your stamina. It would cost magic, but it'd scale off of the highest resource. Anyway, um, technically speaking, it does more. Because the status effect increase, so it goes boom twice. It does the boom in the first place. It does a guaranteed disease status. It's error of effect, and each status that hits actually has an error of effect splash from it because of the status. Um, also bear in mind, most people did not understand that the Blast Bones in the first place, the flame one, doesn't actually do extra damage in PvE if the target doesn't run away. From 28 meters or 1 meter, it did the same. It only did up to 50% extra if the target ran. If the skeleton had to run further, is what the stats were. Uh, or the words were. So, if you put... You've got several different videos you can watch for that. But if you put, um, Necromancer in the chat, that's the class guide for the Necromancer. Go to the first skill about Blast Bones in the Gravelord skill line on that video. You can just skip straight to it. And you'll hear the explanation about how the skill used to work. So this is clearer. And if you go to the new video on my channel, which is about the Necromancer changes, I actually demonstrated what it does. So I didn't just talk about it. I demonstrated the difference. Um, that will help. That one's a short video. It's only about 10 minutes long. Um, but there's some heavily overlooked things in the previous Blast Bones that people never knew they didn't have. And now it's a case of a choice. Instead of two things that are exactly the fucking same apart from their damage source, it's one goes boom and has an awkward timer. The other one just buffs your stats so that your dots do more or your class stuff does more. It's, it's really good to have one or the other as a choice rather than two that are exactly the fucking same and everyone's equally as confused. Because that was fundamentally the problem. It was, it was quite weak to have like just two things that just cost a different resource and did a different damage type but looked and played exactly the same. Now it is literally a matter of choice. Do you want something that's a buff, or do you want something that you fling? Mike's got the links for you. I can run fast on my horse, don't worry. Uh, do you find micromanaging skills easier with a controller or mouse and keyboard? Doesn't make a difference to me. I play mouse and keyboard or um, control pad. I played fucking MMOs for like 25 years. It doesn't make a difference to me. It's personal preference. Whichever one you find easier is the one you should use. But I play on every single server, every single one that exists. If we count the live ones, not including PTS or anything like that, because I'm on there a lot as well, just the live ones, four of them out of six require a control pad. Require. So when you're on PC, you can choose mouse and keyboard or a, or a controller. Since four of them need it, there's no point me swapping out. I might as well just use the same thing for fucking everything. Just plug it in. Um, what set you got swapped on? What? What, what set got swapped on Lazy Talk? Nothing got swapped on a Lazy Sork. There's an Infinite Archive variant of the build. Uh, Joystick with one red button. Love those. We got everyone? Let's go! Have a damage shield, because you like it. Wow, that's dead. Next! He's doing some stuff. How did you die, Viper? We killed the boss too quick. Oh, no, we did get loot. There it is. Matt Tinker's chest. Uh, use the map properly, Div. Speaking of, uh, my wife is putting together a vampire necromancer healer. We've been doing a bit of homework to determine how to get her set up. Fair enough. If in doubt, try it out. There's millions of possibilities. Why are we still in fucking combat? Ryan is iffy. And he's in the chat. How you doing, Ryan? Welcome to the stream. If you haven't shouted out Ryan already, do it. Loud noises. He's probably got a hangover from yesterday. And if you're not following him already, fix it. Go and follow him. He kicks scrolls. I've seen him do it. You enjoy the foot pedals? What, for playing ESO? Good for you. Is I when you hear Gru, what class you get first in your head? I don't, actually. I don't get any of the classes in my head. I get a Spriggan. In instead. Matt and Tinker are good for anything at the minute. It's good full stop if you can make use of it. 
Read the five-piece bonus if that's what you're looking for. It's good. If it's not what you're looking for, it's bad. Imagine looking for extra health on the five-piece and it doesn't have it. Technically, in that subjective scenario, it's no good for you, is it? Think about that. Good as a point of view. Depends on what you're trying to do. Uh, good champ had an Aussie English brekkie. Uh, greasy meal before sleep, so no hangover. See, I don't do that because that will make me fucking sick. I don't know how many people know that these things exist, but for those of you in the UK, if not maybe Australia land, um, perfect hangover cure. Bombay bad boy with pot noodle and strawberry fridge oh, milkshake. All those two, all at once, and I don't mean in the same pot, I mean just eat one and drink the other, you're done. Waiting for slave and spell. It's coming back in a second, don't worry. Twitch just died. Your milk sounds good. No, it's not just... Iffy. One bit bad boy, elite pot noodle. See, you know. I'll wait until Twitch catches up again. Um, Did a stream die, for fuck's sake. Patience. And we're back. God, I even announced that. I said it's going to die. Don't worry, it'll be back in a minute. And then people start going, oh my God, what happened? It happened. It was coming. Um, Ryan is iffy. It's not strawberry milk. So get that taste out of your mouth now. Look up fridge with a J. It's a UK, fuck, I think it's UK, um, milkshake. It's really fucking thick. That stuff. Not regular strawberry milk. Not chalky milk or none of that shit. The proper stuff. That will do it. What did you say, uh, Spriggan? I said Spriggan. When you said uh, the set, first thing that came to mind was a Spriggan. And I don't mean the set Spriggan. I mean an actual NPC or enemy. Really new into the game. It's a tree enemy. Um, which is beer blotched on us all. It's exhausting. How much? I'm traveling and you're starting a fight. What an inconsiderate bastard. Um, Chucky milk and chicky nuggies. I can't, I can't handle that. I can't. No. That's goo goo gaga. That's shit. Don't teach your kids to talk like that. They'll never learn anything. They want participation awards for farting. <laughs> Saves me sell triple chocolate milkshake called Chocoholic and it's quite thick. No, no, no. Not the same stuff. I was very specific about the hangover cure. Very specific about a tried and tested voodoo recipe. Strawberry fridge and Bombay bad boy pot noodle. Reverse order. Pot noodle first, drink after. Pink cows are vegan. Yes, they are. Um, fresh from a pink cow. Got it. Dude, look it up. It's actually got a cow pattern on the, on the, um, on the bottle. Hello there. Hello there, Pale Gringo. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> when you say something that's really, really specific, someone goes, "Oh, it's like that." No, it's not like that. It's not. It's not. It's not fucking shitty strawberry milkshake. It's it's proper stuff. It'll kick the shit out of Yazoo. Uh, good different order, but someone would add the milk to a pot noodle. Oh, dude, they would. That's why I'm really specific about the way I describe things. I have, to, I, do you know why? Because I'm aware that someone's going to be thick enough to fuck it up. It's, it's damage mitigation. It's to prevent collateral damage. Uh, minus the Drew Wax. Um, the Lazy Sork Infinite Archive build done with focus this weekend into finishing up the character. Nice. Good to give the order. I bet someone would add milk to the pot noodle. I read that already, but yes, this is true. That would happen. Don't put a Bombay bad boy pot noodle in your eye. Someone will go, I wonder why, and then do it anyway. My pot noodle was broken. I tried to put it in my eye, but it's got a fork in it. Those people do exist. They are real people. Fucking dangerous. Americans drink Gatorade on hangovers. Fuck that. I will pass. Too much sugar and shit. I don't every time it pops up. I read that one already. Read that. Pal's almost got the lazy talk. No, I was fortunate. Privileged enough to pull the live wire lightning star from a delve chest. Nice. Wing. Someone farted. 
It was Jesse, wasn't it? Didn't you pick up what came up on Google? What the hell are you trying to get me to milk here? Jesus Christ. You know I can't look at fucking Discord while I'm looking at 7 million windows. Iffy. Be a pro streamer, dude. Come on. That's a joke, by the way. He streams all the time. Um, there is a reason behind McD putting the content on its cups in a hot on the coffee cup. Yes, I'm aware. Because I'm not five. Um, that's why I joke about that stuff. Because I'm already aware of it. What in the fuck, Iffy? I said fridge with a J. And you spoke... You, see, this is why it's difficult in the world, people. I said fridge with a J. Take the, and no E either. Um, you know the J bit on the end? The D... E, the D... <laughs> It's Jay. Thank you, pal. So what's he do? He types fridge. Ify in upside down land. As literal as this is, he looked up strawberry fridge. As in the actual appliance. No, fridge is the name of the drink. F R I double J. I'm fucking dead. Oh. oh, shit. Now, I'm not cruel enough to call people that I know thick as shit. So, because that wouldn't be very nice. But I'm, I'm going to underline that the density of that milkshake is not far off of your current intelligence level following your previous hangover. See, I didn't say thick as shit. I said a bit thinner. <laughs> Dear oh dear, they make the best muffins, not gonna lie. <laughs> Ify, I had no idea that that was gonna happen. I, I figured something would go wrong, but I, I had no idea you were gonna search <laughs> Anyway, spell it properly, F-R-I-double-J. Look it up, you'll see. You can't tell how good it is by looking it up on Google, obviously, but if you can get hold of that stuff, get the strawberry one, tell me how you feel. Honestly, it is god juice. It is absolutely phenomenal. Resto staff. Rip. <laughs> that was tell us if he's thick without telling if he's thick. You got it. With an F. Instead of a J. <laughs> uh, a malt. Oh dear, oh dear. Did you find it? I'm traveling the wrong fucking... No, I'm pressing the wrong button. I want to travel here. Let's see if we found it this time. I'm going to check Discord. At least just... He's just going to send me a picture of him rocking backwards and forwards crying. Donut gave me shit online. <laughs> oh, dear. If I haven't said to follow Iffy already, by the way, make sure you're doing it. Uh, okay, I need to get drunk again, guys. <laughs> I've got to test this milk. I don't even know how to describe it. I mean, it's not good for you. It's obviously not. Nothing that tastes nice is good for you. Um, but it, it's got something in it. That when you are on a fucking massive hangover on the day after, it it just sucks it all up. I'm going the wrong bastard way. Where the fuck am I going? Oh, I was there. Went down the cliff. My bad. Um, but yeah, Bombay, pa uh, blah, blah, blah. Bombay bad boy pot noodle first, and then um, that afterwards. How how strong is that snare? Jesus Christ! Is that a ninety percent snare on me. That was disgusting. Um, <laughs> read that already. I caught up. But anyone in the UK, have you had it? You, you'll know. I know people make a lot of noise about Yazoo and shit, but honestly, Yazoo's thin as fuck. It's like council pop. With a hint of powder in it. Rianzu, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. We're giving every shit. <laughs> Well, I say we are. I just threw everyone under the bus. I am. Demon Cat, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. We always get a death here. Someone always dies. Don't don't run in the middle of the stupid stuff. You can stand, stand back and hit him. What'd I get? Unfathomable darkness chest. Fair enough. My God, I laughed so hard I farted and scared my two-year-old. <laughs> he just sat there and a sound comes out the back of dad. And the two-year-old goes, When do I get one of those? <laughs> No way is a girl asking to pass with VKA Yande and roll hard mode. I don't get it. Can you enlighten me? Because they are deciding that they want X, Y, and Z DPS or else. They've set their own goalposts. 
Is that something that you need to do for the game to be done? No. Is it a rule for the content? No. But the leader of the group has decided that's what they want. So you've got two options. You can smack a dummy until you're almost fucking brain dead and meet their demands. And then inevitably get splattered and then wonder why everyone's dead. And then everyone gets recycled like a fucking conveyor belt of players. Or you can find another group or do it yourself with the group finder. Uh, doing good. Better than it. It's short work for the day. How's your day, Zai? Busy. Very busy. It's always busy. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Did you do the dog thing, Ify? Did you fart and scare yourself? Yeah. What, what the fuck was that? Just shit it instantly. Scared by your own fart. Like when you're half asleep. Everyone's woke themselves up with a fart. True. Um, read that already. That was so hard. Uh, yeah, but not for a long time though. Okay, Riansu said hello. Right, we're, we're kind of on a bit of a an overlap of the timers for the boss spawns because they're only five minutes apart. So after this one is dead, check your loot and start swapping sticker book shit with people. Felt it coming, but it was... Dude, dead or worst? Do you know the worst ones actually is, is you when you do feel it? Because you... You can prepare and kind of nip and then it doesn't make any noise but will it see you don't know do you you can sit in your chair on your own and manually control a fart so it doesn't make any sound and you're like yeah i got this that was difficult but i got this and then if you sit in a room that's really important full of important people and you get that sound in your belly and you know it's coming you sit there rocking thinking that thing you put into practice might backfire. <laughs> that's the worst time. It's not knowing that's the cruel part, right? Like, yeah, um, I, it's too quiet in here and there's too many people and I, there's nothing I can do. One of two things is going to happen. It's going to make noise and everyone's going to look at me or it's not going to make noise and everyone's going to know anyway. Everyone's been in that situation. In class or something, there's always that one kid that just rips it and doesn't care. You should do that. Say fuck it. Get out of the way. Stop hurting yourself. Chicken attack. <laughs> Whack Lathan with the chicken attack. Thank you very much. You're listening intently to the person at the front of the room. Yes, yes. And they're focused on your eyes, which is horrible because eye contact is just shit. Um, and and it's, it's all you're thinking about is I hope it just goes pfft, instead of pfft. Right, um, before we go any further, swap your gear. Hey, listen. <clears throat> you listen. I'm going to link all this shit. Uh, link. I've got two live. Did I just... I did link it. I've got two daggers, actually. Link. Link. I've got two restos as well. <clears throat> and I think I got a shield. No, I didn't. If anyone needs any of that, whisper me. I don't know where Sleg and Unforgiven Carpet are gone because we're swapping gear here. If you pull the boss, it's just going to piss everyone off. So don't do that. Be patient. <clears throat> we're on track with the boss spawns anyway. They're only they're five minutes apart. You never need to fart until you're in a quiet room full of people. It's like the body knows and hates us. This is true. Need a dagger? Where are you? I've got two daggers, so if anyone else needs one, let me know. Pull your sticker book, make it cheaper for you to make the thing. I just don't I just don't try to trade with you, but you you failed it. <clears throat> Let's try again without you moving. Stand still. There we go. We got there eventually. Enjoy. Well, I'm assuming everyone's done all this weapon because nobody's moving. In which case. Are we going? Oh, I do have this as well, actually. I had a chess piece, didn't I? <clears throat> oh, no, I didn't. It's unfathomable darkness and shit. Don't worry about that. Let's go. King, um, use the group chat, because otherwise, if you post it in local chat, you're just going to attract the attention of shit canoes, and they're just going to start arguing with you. Um, almost forgot that actually works when I'm home on PC and not on mobile. Ooh, what does? The streak stuff? You got 10 in a row. That is actually mega. We talk a fart again. We are, because somebody did it in the chat. Ian, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Ian's on YouTube. 
I'm on YouTube and Twitch, people. So if anyone is really confused about who I'm talking to because you can't see their names, no, I didn't make it up. They are really there. We're talking about how you end up um, only ever needing to fart when you're in a room full of people that are um, wanting you to pay very close attention to what's going on. And it has silent moments. And unfortunately, the only thing you can do, apart from embarrass yourself and let it out, is to... Um, is to slowly let it out silently and pray. And here's the thing. Anyone in that room that has ever done that knows the face that you are trying not to pull. So you're already busted. Now what's wrong with talking with <laughs> made up peoples? Taddy's made up. You're a fart. Uh, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. We've got two more people not in the room. Don't pull it, don't pull it. Back in a minute. Um, If you're not... Are you in this fight, Felleron? Or are you making us wait anyway? Because if not, I mean, we can just kill it and move on to the next one because it'll be spawned by then. Back in a minute is, is broad. I mean, are you... Is it number one or number two? Kill it. Okay, got it. He's, he's not actually gone because he just messaged us. See, we thought he was gone, but he was there all along. <laughs> You're a fart. Farts are funny. They're never boring. Someone died again. Rip. Uh, unfathomable darkness. Legs. Run! My far. <laughs> I feel like there's no way I can contribute to this conversation without it getting grosser. Pretty much. Pretty much the case. If he's just sitting there, right? Oh, I really want to say... Oh, I heard a kangaroo... No, never mind. Yes. Yes, I just did a kangaroo joke for someone who lives in Australia land. Congratulations. It's racist, bro. Not even close! Not even close. Observational humor based on the location of the individual and the native animals to his land. We put him there in the first place. Don't don't give him fucking precious R's. <laughs> oh dear. It's what happens when you're on the internet. You have to apologize for everything before you say it. Like, fuck. If he is appropriating Aussie culture, how dare you? I bet he's bald as well, isn't he? I bet he's got no hair. Typical Aussie. <laughs> you can't say that. Oh, if only people understood sarcasm. And jokes. And facetiousness. And just humor in general. <laughs> fuck it, we eat them. <laughs> That's actually, that's the funny part. All of these are actually very close humor-wise to the UK. So most of the stuff that you say, even slang in the UK, Aussies will get them straight away. The US, some people do, lots of people do, but there's also, it's not a language barrier, but it is sometimes. Uh, Mike Making is the only person I know that tries not to fart like a high elf. <laughs> it would squeak, wouldn't it? <laughs> Ooh, what was that? <laughs> That's how Mike sounds. Um, Aussie slang is weird, though. Not really. Did you see the hat I brought, Rich? No? What did you do? Where's Felleron gone? Let me look at the map. Hold on. He's not moving. Dude, stay there. By the time you get here, this will be dead, and then we'll be on the next one. Fuck it. Get that catch up. I think he's still AFK. The imperfect. I love that mechanic. It's so aggressive. How many people we got? Ten? We've still got room for two more people, you know. I'm gonna travel to Felleron because then it won't cost me anything. Um gonna be really cheap. Where's he gone? Travel to player. Side, so, do you think stacking Maelstrom daggers with the new mag blast bones would work? So, what you need to understand is it doesn't boost that skill. That skill boosts skills. So you're not boosting the necro skill itself. You are adding it to an existing buff from another weapon. The short answer is yes, but you've worded it completely upside down. That's like saying, does it contribute to your skills if you have deadly? Because it boosts damage over time. Yes. So damage over time bonuses do stack with the Maelstrom daggers. Or, well, they're not even called Maelstrom daggers. That's completely wrong, and that's what loads of stupid people say. Um, Maelstrom dual wield. Daggers is a choice of weapon type. 
you don't have to use daggers. The dual wield has a set bonus regardless of its uh, physical form. But um, you're going to get people telling you that it's new. It's not new. That Maelstrom shit's been on my DKs for seven years. But um, anything that contributes to damage over time, as in champion points, buffs, bonuses, whatever, will be considered as well as that particular flurry. Yes. Uh, I got a baseball cap that says can. <laughs> and I got him some kangaroo nuts that had been repurposed into a bottle opener. I did see that. I did see that. Uh, don't believe him until I gank you. I'm not real. You can't gank someone by yourself. And before you go, you just can't. No, you can't. You can stealth kill someone by yourself. You can jump someone and attack them and kill them nice and quickly by yourself. But gank is two words squashed into one. And it has been for like 25 years, but people have tried to forcibly put it on the internet, on Wikipedia and Urban Dictionary to make it mean different things. Gank means gang attack. A group of you jumping on someone. Um, I can almost, unless you're more than one person, Jason, in which case, go on, carry on, crack on, mate. Uh, I can almost see using, I'm reading that completely upside down. Let's try again. I can almost see MM wearing the real men don't fart like, oh, Mike Macon. He's got an, Mike, did you know you have an acronym? An acronym in him? Mike has an acronym. He's called double M now. Like an agent, double M, double M7. Uh, wearing a real man don't fart like a high elf t-shirt. He would. Evidently, Mike has now got himself his own acronym. How cool is that? Do you already mentioned this? But if you just can't find a particular piece, Overland gear, can I be purchased from Guild Stride Traders? Yes. And that's something to um, underline for those of you that don't have certain DLCs as well. If you don't, let's say, for example, you don't have Clockwork City, you don't have access to it, or you don't have uh, Necrom, and there's some Overland gear that you want. Even if you don't have the DLC or the chapters, you can still buy the gear off the market. Um, Dingo ate your baby. <laughs> uh, the real MM. Does that make Mike the real Slim Shady? I know there's no end and in there. Man Bear Nug, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Happy Friday to you as well. If you're not following Man Bear Nug, you're probably following Iffy. Follow him. Uh, this, that's the difference, right? When, when you get on with other people and when you don't get on with other people. When you get on with other people, you can make jokes like that and it's fine. But when you don't, it just sounds like salt. Uh, Rich was shocked that in our supermarkets, we have shirts, hats, etc. with a brand to see you in the Northern Territory, but it's abbreviated to <laughs> C-U-N-T and it's in the windows in all the stores. I can well believe it. I mean, they shouldn't be surprised because the US has got some funky shit. Like, they get away with some rather unusual advertising. It can go quite far. Depends on the sense of the humor, though. Uh, sense of humor of the individuals, though, isn't it? I mean, I'm sure Fun Police will be out there saying, you have to ban that because it means something it doesn't. If it mean it doesn't mean something it doesn't. You made that up. Yeah, but I don't like it. Then don't fucking buy it, dickhead. Uh, I'm not shitting on you. We aren't as close as you think we are. We're not. You are miles away. Oh, if you're not shitting on me. Oh. <laughs> read that wrong. I know what you meant. Streamer skills. I can read everything correctly every single time. First time. MM7. Yep. That's Mike's new name. Double M7. <laughs> uh, where did we get to? Read that already. The shame is Macon instead of Bacon, though, isn't it? One, because Mike would prefer it if his name was Bacon instead of Macon. And two, because we could take some of the first word, name, and some of the last word, or name, and we could put the M and the I and then his surname together, and he would be called M-I-B. But we can't have nice things, because that didn't happen. you got to blame your mum. If only. Too late now. You have to change it on the internet. Damn it, I spelt, nailed it wrong. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> oh, I moved. Shit. We've lost someone. Someone has gone to the main way shrine area. Where's Slayer gone? You still playing Slayer or have you AFK'd a second? Slayer wants a quest. 
I don't want the fucking quest. I'll take it. It's fine. I would have done it on my main character if that was the case, but never mind. Not that it matters. Remember how you doing? Man Bear is uh, looking rather dashing today. I saw him on his stream with his mega beard. See, I have to do that because I can't act. I don't. I don't have one of those. I have one of those fucking biro ones instead. You seen his beard? Every time he looks in the mirror, Gandalf shits himself. True. Boing. <laughs> I mean, when does it look dashing though? Know? He's so bloody chilled. So chilled. Man bear nug is culturally appropriate in a bear culture. He is. This is true. Boing. Man bear's so bloody chilled though. I think if you stood on his toes, he'd be like, it's okay. I've got other toes. On a roller coaster, going really fuck off fast. 752 miles an hour in a straight line downwards. Yay. <laughs> it's cool as fuck. Now, honestly, I love watching the stream. Just so fucking chilled out. If I'm doing loads of things and trying to focus, I'll have a stream on in the background and just drink coffee and feel awesome. Here's the Bob Ross of ESO. 100%. Um, we haven't got any bosses because they're fucking scared. Man bear duck a minute. Gandalf has told him not to come out. Really are a bit of a dream come true. <laughs> the Bob Ross. That's, that's accurate. He's just taken off the big fro and stuck it on the beard. Um, I'm going to gank you when you're fighting someone else. So that fits the definition. No, it doesn't. That is you interfering with someone else's fight and being naughty about it. If you, if you plan as a group, as a gang that already know each other to jump someone, that's a gang. Do, 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 do. Mono, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. I have three focused efforts on one, five, three on the easy sort. Jesse, that's disgusting. Are you on, what server are you on? Are you on PC or are you on the, uh, the console server? I know you play Xbox, but I don't know if you're on the other servers. I was in a one-to-one -one earlier, actually, and I had a couple of uh, focused efforts on the Almost Immortal Warrior. It was mega. Well, just school works are going to lurk. No problem whatsoever. You're on Xbox. Jesse, you wait until Tuesday. Oh, my God. You are not ready. It is absolutely insane. Mike's been playing it. Mike wanted to play it so much that instead of playing on his favorite server yep favorite server he went all the way over all that way all the way over to pc land and made the build there so he could try it in its new state he cheated on his xbox with a bigger box with more power <laughs> that's actually questionable to be fair slummed it over to pc na for the last two weeks did you take a tent? <laughs> Mike's one of those people that lays outside the shop with a fucking sleeping bag waiting for Lazy Sork to come out. True. Don't always play Sork, but when I do, it's Lazy Sork. Thank you very much. I'm glad it's, ho glad it's useful, or hope it's useful. I nearly said I'm glad it's hopeful. That's a completely different thing entirely, isn't it? Cheat on his Xbox with a bigger box. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> Dude, it, it was leading. It's just... You picked up too much of it. No. <laughs> I shared... Uh, sorry, I started in PC like five months now. Still PlayStation, but, but the add-ons... That's the thing. The add-ons aren't part of the game per se. They don't come with the base game. They don't come with the DLCs or the chapters. They are made by players. But it's a lot easier to do that on PC than it is on console. And they have the API open to do it. Outside of that, if you don't consider the third-party stuff that other people make, because Zoss doesn't make those, nor are they responsible for them, um, the game is the same on every single server. You get people a lot saying, oh, will this build work on PC? The build works on every single server because it's the same game. The only difference, if you exclude third-party stuff, that's about as relevant as TeamSpeak, by the way. Oh, we've got voice comms because we've got whatever the fuck we use now. It's like saying, oh, I want to use PC because Discord. Huh? But anyway, 
Um, the game is the same. The only difference is on PC, you've got choices of uh, user interface. You can use the PC uh, mouse and keyboard interface, or you can use the gamepad mode interface. The game is the same. Hit with a nice subtle innuendo. I picked it up and dusted off the subtlety and put it back. No, you didn't. You saw what you thought was a turd on the floor. And just to test it, just to make sure, you picked up and threw it against the fucking bus window. That's what you did. There was nothing even remotely subtle dusting about it. <laughs> I craft and change the bills. I can have uh, tank here DPS builds slower since I still use a controller or I don't like Discord and push talk. You don't... So using a controller doesn't make you slower. If anyone has ever manipulated you into thinking that that's the case, they are... Get ready for this. You won't hit us anywhere else on the internet, so I'm going to let you know this. If anyone has tried to convince you that you are less experienced, less skilled, less capable or slower um, because you're using a controller, they're full of shit. They are full of shit. A hundred percent. They just think that what they're doing is somehow more important than you. If it was more important than what you're doing, their mum would have allowed them to put their macaroni owl on the fridge. But she didn't, did she? She didn't do it. She went, no, little shit kid. Go run along and play with fucking wizards. That's what happened. If you want to use a control pad, use a control pad. If you want to use a mouse and keyboard, use a mouse and keyboard. Your choice. Not shit canoe hiding behind the bush. Uh, changing bills takes time. Need to use a keyboard for interactions. No, you don't. You can if you want to. You don't have to. Boing. I have not figured out keyboard settings to swap builds. Dude, use the armory. Also, bear in mind, if you're on uh, PC, you can bind your buttons. So it's up to you. Um, crafting additions to base game make everything very streamlined, including on console as for builds, the armory system is a thing. Yep. And when it comes to the crafting stuff, you go to the... Um, <clears throat> Mike showed me this because I missed it in the patch notes when it first came out. Yeah, that's, that's, that's called giving people credit, by the way, for finding stuff and noting where it fucking came from, which very few people do in this world. Um, if you go to the crafting station, there's a tab on there which you can press a button with your controller and it will only highlight the stuff you've got quests for. So you can just do one thing. If you've got a writ, it will go straight to it. And that is not an add-on. That's base game. When that came out initially, I didn't even realize until a patch later because I didn't even fucking see it. Mike saw it. I saw it on his stream. I was like, what the fuck? When the... I read the patch notes out loud. Where did I miss that? But yeah, it's really good. Uh, crafted builds. Each of my characters gets a nice fancy bath outfit. <laughs> they get dressed for crafting. That's mega. That is exactly how you should play. Armour Universal Alpha Gear PC is great. They had to swap builds on the fly. They're similar. They are, but uh, we'll see how long that lasts for because they're adding new stuff all the time. And they've used a lot of stuff that were only made from add-ons into base game stuff like damage numbers, buff timers, um, ability timers. Those things over time have been added as quality of life. So, um... You won't need to stress about getting whatever it is you think you need for long. Because that shit will eventually come anyway. Um, I know people who have world records and only play gamepad and don't use mouse and keyboard at all on the Xbox, PS, and wait for it, PC. In fact, majority of best players I know, I know a few all play gamepad. Would you like to know something else that is an absolute fact that most people would be shocked about? When people say they play mouse and keyboard, a lot of the time, regardless of who is... Uh, personally somehow affected by this statement because I know someone's going to go, Hey, he's talking about me. I'm not. I don't know who the fuck you are. Um, from experience, from personal face-to-face -face interaction with a large majority of players on PC, specifically creators, you would be surprised how many of them don't actually use a mouse and keyboard in combat. They use one of those mice with a million buttons on and they do that. One of those one-hand cyborg controllers. They use that shit. They don't actually use the keyboard at all for their skills. At all. Just forwards and backwards. Game and mice and a bajillion buttons. I Correct. Drinks all around. He's talking about me, wait. <laughs> and do you know what that means? Do you, do you know what that is literally explaining or underlining? You can use whatever the fuck works for you. If someone announces, yo, I'm better because I use mouse and keyboard. First of all, they don't. Secondly, they're probably shit. And if they aren't shit, they're just a dickhead. 
because it doesn't matter. It's up to you. Um, and here's one fact. I'll, I'll let Ryan answer this one as to whether it's true or false because he's here. And I like to put him on the spot. I've heard people complain or state that control pad is harder to use in PvP because on PC you can spin your camera faster. There is a loose fact at the same time as an open lie in that statement. The loose fact is, yes, with the PC settings you can move your camera faster. But the lie is that it makes you a lesser player. With a control pad, you don't have as much of an opportunity to accidentally overspin. Because you can. Because just because you can move it fast doesn't mean you're accurate. And with a mouse and keyboard, you can make more mistakes. Why? Because if I want to press X, I'll press X. And I'll continue to press X. And I'll never fail to press X because that is where X is. Nothing else is even remotely close to it. Look, the other buttons are quite far apart. You, without looking, press 1 to 5 on your mouse and keyboard. Well, on your keyboard. You probably can, quite a lot of the time. But how many times do you press the wrong button? How many times do you try to crouch and not crouch? How many times do you try to sprint and not sprint it? You are open to more mistakes the more buttons you have. That doesn't define which one is better or worse, but it does mean that one is more um, susceptible to error. And you will find that if you do play controller on this game specifically, and you go up against someone with a mouse and keyboard, you can notice what they're using. You can notice the difference. Uh, you can uncap the sensitivity on your gamepad and PC to turn faster too. That's exactly what I said. You can move faster on PC. Do you mean as in gamepad mode itself? That's not what I'm referring to. I'm referring to like console players and shit like that. But um, yes, you can do that if you want to. But again, you can overshoot it. I've seen lots of people in first person shooters, third person shooters, and even in ESO that claim to have really high sensitivity on their turn uh, settings. And they can't use it. They just spin forever. They do this. This is with the mouth. Oh, I'm not even on PC. Fuck me. I was on PC earlier. I'm getting confused on what server I'm on. But um, you can you can spin your camera too much. Just because you can move it fast doesn't mean you can aim straight. Uh, got to go. Thanks for the stream. You are most welcome. What's Ryan got to say about all that? I have one of those mouses. Mouses? Well, seven or so buttons on my trackable and still play with a controller, though. Yes, because that's a personal situation for you. That's why I said earlier, someone's going to say, well, what about me? Not you. Thank you for the chicken attack. That's why the word generally was used. Um, got it, thanks to the stream. Uh, you got the staff? And you left us? Get another one. You could have... You could have traded it with someone because you haven't bound it yet and then got one for everybody else. <laughs> Good job, dude. Congratulations. Actually, yes, you can move it faster. The thing is, the more you spin, the less on target you are. Correct. The less on target you are, the less light medium or heavy attacks a skill lands, which starts the chain reaction for issues, ulti regen resources, even just defensive pressure or defensive. So yes, Zai, that is a fact. It is. That's not to say that people can't use it very, very well. Some can. But if everyone uses it, you are going to find lots more uh, people having mistakes earlier on than they will later on. They're going to take a lot more practice because they've pushed something to the extreme when they're not used to the basics. Uh, quite often I have a character of max boost of speed and lose control and overshoot stuff. Again, it's not calling people bad players. I'm just saying understand the, the differences. Those are the things you have to look out for. Um, a good player can adjust to that. Um, a less experience with a peripheral um, takes more time to get used to it. Up one is in the stream. Thank you very much for joining. The opposite actually was before you were talking. I know what you meant. Yeah, I'm not referring to individuals in the chat. I'm just saying generally that tends to be the issue. So no, you're not in a weaker spot or a lesser um, position for using the control pad. It's your preference. Whatever you're more comfortable with. I actually don't like max speed because of that. It's, it's quite high. <clears throat> and again, if you're in a very fast paced situation, PvE content not so much because Let's say not infinite archive because things can vary in there. But let's say Maelstrom where you know exactly where all the spawns are. Um, and you get really, really used to it. Sure, you can spin your camera to the correct location quite easily with practice. But if you're in PvP and someone's dancing around you like a fucking lunatic and they keep changing direction, you've got to adapt to their movement now rather than something that is already set in as muscle memory. And that becomes very different. 
Uh, my keyboard on my laptop is so many more inches away from my controller in my hands. There you go. And that can be fucky as well when it comes to the double clicking. You suck! <laughs> Zero, you got told. Uh, that's bullshit. I play MagSork and I can be on your ass quick as fuck after streaking through Xbox player. See? Control pads doesn't make you a lesser player at all. It's just your choice. Um, did I read that? Situation, go big, clean your room. <laughs> what the fuck? What's wrong with me talking with made up people? I read that one already, didn't I? I saw that ages ago. How the fuck did it get stuck in the chat? Uh, we're in. Oh, wait a minute. So it's not here. From your tank. Imagine bitching about 90k DPS in Warriors 2. I was bitched at. What the fuck? How? Oh, how, how stuck up? Oh my god, bro. You did 90k. Oh no. Is the boss dead? Yes. Shut the fuck up then. Get your loot. Leave it. I want to talk to you. Bash, 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 dead. Uh, no lightning stuff. I don't know what else I've got, actually. We'll check again in a bit. I'm gonna check now. Fabble darkness. Um, loads of shit. Nothing else. Tiny drop there. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. People make issues about stuff that really doesn't fucking matter. It's exhausting. So many other things going on in the world or in your game that you do give a shit about. Why should you even care if someone says something that stupid? Open in the menu when you want to break. Oh, fuck. That is annoying. I fucking hate that. DJ A&K, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Main difference is what you are used to and cover with. Yes, which is why I underline quite heavily. In every stream, it's preference. It's up to you. It's, it's not even an open discussion, really. It's stupid people trying to dismiss something they don't understand. They don't use a controller, or they don't use a mouse and keyboard, and they decide that what they use is superior. It's not superior, it's just your preference. Um, I haven't used a controller enough to be used to it, naturally much so with it, but that is me, not the controller. Exactly. Boing. Do, 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 do. How many people still need it? Just ready? Maybe, maybe target mummy as well, because she was looking for some stuff earlier. We are beating the market tankers at the moment, because there's a couple of people that need the lightning stuff, so we're getting it. Practicing time will make you better at this game. Nothing else matters. Not your equipment, even your build. You spend enough time to practice, you will become great at PvE or PvP. Only people who don't get better are people who think that they know everything already, and they usually aren't as good as they think they are. Correct. Um, they rely on nothing but gear and smacking a dummy and assume that that is the only way to play. No, that is a way to practice. Um, the way to play is to go into the content where the, the stuff that you have to actually go up against lives. Oh, you've got it! Nice! Love that. Try to be part of the PC master race, but uh, keeping the mouse is too hard for one-handed. You can get one of those mice, DJ, with loads of buttons on it. That the cool people with, with, with two uh, fully functioned hands use. Controller for the win. DJ uses one hand, by the way, with a PlayStation 5 controller, and you would not fucking know. Honestly, I've had loads of one-to-ones with him. I've met him in person as well. He's even made a video that I did share on my website of him using my builds with the way he plays. Because he can't... I'm not going to out DJ with this, but he did make a video. He can um, put the controller in that hand, but he can't, like, move this hand. It stays still. So he has to use one hand on top of the controller, like a fucking spider. Until... Way into one of the one-to-one -one sessions when he mentioned it, I had no idea he only played with one fucking hand. It's that fucking good. Um, adaptation is key. You get good at what you're used to. Spider hand. That's the only way I can describe it, dude. I don't know what the fuck to say. Uh, <laughs> I have fun playing as a solo tank in normal uh, trials with blue off trait gear. Great way to build up a sticker book. It is, but here's the thing. When you, when you say, like, off trait. Off trait versus a build, maybe. But off trait in general, maybe you want to make use of them. Maybe you want well fitted so you can dodge roll at a cheaper cost. Maybe. Raddy's got it as well. Ooh, let's go. Maybe you want training because you don't have all the champion points. Invigorating? Okay, fuck invigorating. In a game that doesn't necessarily have anywhere near as many absolutes as people think they do. Um, that's, that particular, um, trait at the moment is, is, you won't hear me say this about a lot of things because everything's got a use, okay? Everything has a use in some way or another. 
That one is shit. I know what they meant to do with it, but unfortunately they made more problems than they made uh, solutions with that one. Because they weren't sure what to do about it. Now we want Preposterous back. I would rather we had Preposterous to give us more gold. Because Invigorating is so close to if you had all Invigorating, technically speaking, if you wanted to push towards one recovery bonus, you could just take a Mundustone and it will outperform no matter what. There's loads of buffs and bonuses you take advantage of instead of that. Or you can mix and match some other bits and pieces on your jewelry or whatever. There's, there's so many different ways to make all three recovery bonuses so much higher without those traits. And here's the problem. And they did buff it a little bit in the past to try and highlight the issue and, and solve it. But it's so close to a point now that if they upgraded it by like one or two points for recovery builds specifically, it would be too strong. So, at the moment, it's too weak. If they adjust it, it's too strong. It's just one of those finicky fucking bonuses that just I really don't think should exist. I think they should rework the whole fucking thing. And I also think, and, and this is an unpopular opinion because I said it. I do personally think, and I have said this to the devs as well, I do think that they should change how Defines works. Because in a game where you're supposed to make choices, and there are an abundance of choices, and there isn't supposed to be any design best... Divines is too overused because it's too strong. I think a Mundestone should be flat, so maybe they'd have to adjust them all. And Divine should be something else. That way you can pick your Mundestone and be happy with it, and then choose the traits you really want rather than sacrificing all the possibilities for that one thing. I think it negates a lot of choice. You might want to be a medium build with a fuck ton of well fitted, but you're not going to do that because you want your Mundestone to be stronger. They should all be flat, maybe a little bit stronger on their own, and Divine should be something else. That way you might want to have three of one trait, two of another, one of another, etc, etc. You might mix and match a lot more and customise it a bit more personal to you rather than just tanks use sturdy, deep shoes, Divines. That's not saying that's how it has to be in the game, there's many different ways to play, but that is the general copy and paste. Uh, I think more Divines you have, the less bonus you get from it, so that way you can mix and match traits. I mean... Again, that would just upset the babies and say, oh my god, they nerfed it. Realistically, just balance out the Mundestone so they're a bit stronger and just dump Divines completely. Like, two free Divines gives you max bonus, anything else decreases it. A multiplicative? Uh, not multiplicative. Um, you mean diminished returns? They pretty much dump diminished returns apart from multiplicative effects for mitigation. So I don't think they ever would do that. Um, because none of the Mundestones would line up with it. None of the Mundestones, um, apart from block mitigation, um, so there is one are um, diminished returns. But who knows? Either way, it is too strong in its current state. Spitfire, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, Divines is too strong. Like, you can take something else for sure, but you still lose so much. Correct. And that's the thing. If you wanted a recovery bonus and you took a Mundestone with loads of Divines, I know it's one recovery bonus, but that would massively overshadow Invigorating. So what's the fucking point in it? It's not saying that one wouldn't do more than another. But it's saying that, well, your choice is already negated because it is obviously a better option. They, they want to give you choices, not uh, this is absolutely better without a doubt. Yijenku, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. I like, please do a wire sound for this for this one. I don't do those on request. So no, you can't have it. Uh, make it so you have five divine items. Your feet fall off. That would stop people doing it. Yeah, that would work. Boing. Again, in, in the other games, the Elder Scrolls uh, in general, your Mundestone is your Mundestone. Or your, 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 um, what the fuck is it called? I've forgotten what they fucking call it. I haven't played it for ages. Your sign. That's what I meant. Um, your birth sign. I said sign before you said birth sign. Shut up. Um, it's always set in stone, isn't it? It's a set in stone one time bonus. Rework twice one star. Make it, that doesn't even make any sense. They don't need to rework twice one star. It's been the same as it has been forever. They've never changed it. It still does what it always did. Um, and again, that was a problem too. Because you could just stack two and just build the... You wouldn't use any divines at all, would you? Um, any other traits at all, would you? Always use divines because you want to take advantage of the Mundus. If they boosted the Mundus and dumped the divines, you'd have more reason to pick a particular one for your build. And then you would use other traits. Uh, saw the sign, opened up my eyes and saw the sign. 
They've still got to consolidate one of them though because um, they've they've got a crit bonus for both. They've got a crit damage for and, and healing for both. So damage and healing. They've got resistance for both. Um, but they've got weapon damage for one and spell damage for another. Well, those stats have been consolidated for a long, long time on sets. They need to make one of the Mundestones actually um, do both and then change the other one to something else. Like, more gold. They didn't Skyrim have Mundus 2. They, yes, but I'm not talking specifically Skyrim. I just meant other Elder Scrolls games full stop. Remember, there's five Elder Scrolls. Uh, I've been playing ESO on... Arc Linux, my MMO mouse does not have that compatibility, but my gamepad works just fine. Fair enough. Um, where the fuck am I going? Thank you for grape. You are welcome. Live wire lightning stuff. I got a flame stuff if anybody needs it. Just to fill your sticker book. Uh, lies, there's six. Not yet. But but if they change the Mundus benefits, wouldn't that jack up somebody's build? No. How would it jack up somebody's build? Oh, you mean, would it... Would it make it so that Zos definitely deleted your build because you chose Divines? So that's not fair? You'd have to get over yourself. <laughs> when you play the game to start with, you go through this big list of things that you have to press X to go forward with. And um, you're agreeing to their terms and conditions. One of those things is the game will inevitably change. It's their server. And it's not even your um, account. It's an account you have access to. They own it. Supposing they made a build guide video. So? That's not their problem. If I make a build guide video, and everything on it is divines, and then they change it... There's a term that we have to use here that I have to accept, and so do you. What do you think it is? As an adult, I'll accept it and just make another video. I don't give a shit. What do you think the term is? Tough shit. <laughs> Sausages, indeed. You went through this. Adapt. Bingo. I say make everything as powerful as fucking leave it. <laughs> oh, damn. Remember that doing crit and try stat plus two mund is very nice. Yeah, the thing is, um, food is actually something that they're still looking into. Food and potions, because um, that stuff is one, well, one of the only major pain points left over that hasn't been kind of hybridized. And we've got an abundance of recipes now that are kind of useless, because you'll just use like one or two or maybe three. Um, and the rest are just old leveling ones. Now, it's nice to have those, but I think there's too many. Hey, listen! Who did a fart? It's DJ. DJ did a fart with one hand. Elven PS, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Uh, suck it up, buck up. Exactly. Tough shit. The chance was too easy to get high there uh, due to Divine, so they pushed the Shadowstone. Now they use it to push the Thief, but it's always been only Mundus for years. Exactly my point. Now, while it's a very important thing to add to your build, it shouldn't be the only thing your build is pushing. It should be a side effect or an additional buff on top of everything else you've got. Look, it only sits fucking here. Who did that? Thank you very much. It just sits here like every other buff. It shouldn't be... It shouldn't be pushing that much on your overall choices for your, your traits and everything. I know it has done for a long time, but you're negating all the other possibilities by going, oh, I must have that completely maxed. Imagine all the other things you could do. Um, but what, what can we do? I mean, maybe they'll change it one day, maybe they won't. But it's been, it's been highlighted a lot. They do know. So instead of having only the big bonus when you have a Mundestone with all the vines, maybe bring it down ever so slightly as if it was maxed and just change the vines to something else. So at the moment, the Ashen Arc, I don't have the vines on this dude, but um, he's that's 310. With the vines, it'll be much higher. I don't know. 400 flat. Done. So if crit chance was like 13, for example, with uh, full divines, for example, not saying it's exactly that. Um, change the divines completely and give us 10%. Wouldn't be mad at that. Um, my PvE build is full impen. I rule. Unless you get hit with flat damage, DJ. That can't crit. <laughs> oh, man. I have to underline this because history is fun. Do... Yes or no is fine. I'm going to explain it more so you don't have to get ahead of me. Do you remember people complaining in PvP that proc sets need to be nerfed? Or proc sets are too OP? Remember that? You remember those those tears? Those those painful, painful, salt-filled tears. You remember? Crimson Cone Viper. Uh, yes or no was the question. Yes or no. Do you remember it? 
I'm going to explain it so you don't have to get ahead of me. You're not a smart ass if you do. Okay, good. So for those that don't know, because I'm sure some do, the proc sets were not the problem. They were never the problem. They've altered stuff, obviously, because they gave them the crits back. But um, they were never the problem. The problem was... The problem is at that point in time, proc sets did not crit. The problem is that the players built for crit resistance. The problem is they were taking non-crit damage and built to defend against crits. They built their defenses wrong. If those individuals that were getting nuked by proc sets built for higher resistances instead of crit resistances, they would have lived longer. Which is why PvE tanks in PvP at that point in time were so fucking hard to kill because they came equipped for the damage they were going to receive. Fact. I love shit like that. When you see someone complaining about something that is completely unholy, like that is not allowed, and you realize that they're their own problem. That made Lizzie lol. <laughs> I remember I stopped buying the salt from Woolworths and got... Dude, as if you know what Woolworths is. It's so good that you know that. Because if I'd have mentioned that word, no one else would have got it. We had two of those. And Big W. Boing. Oh, for anyone that needs a chest, by the way, I did get it. Where's it gone? There. We've invigorating on it. Fuck my life. Uh, all these people are trending towards whatever metal works. It's not, even, it's not what works. It's what people say is popular. Work. What works is if everyone picks it up and it works by default. The problem is when people say that, the setup that they're using doesn't work by default. It only works when someone's extremely skilled. So it's the complete opposite of what they mean. It's a backronym. Uh, cynical arguments that always keep moving. <laughs> uh, and then everyone's railing against it. People don't rail against it. People just misunderstand what they're trying to sell in the first place. And then when you deliver facts in front of them, their mind completely boggles. They don't know how to respond to it. And then they just shout, you're a fucking shit noob. And that's it. The, the argument ends up turning into an insult. Or the, the... What's the word for it? The discussion ends up turning into an insult fest. Because people are ag aggressively defensive against you, even mildly stating that there is an issue somewhere. Uh, how are you? Azur, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Apparently Toys R Us are coming back to Oxfordshire where I live. They won't be here. We've got a fucking great building for it. It's been derelict for ages. Um, good old Woolies and Big W. Dude, it was mega. I said this before on stream and someone got really fucking upset about it. They were trying to tell me that they can hit the ceiling of X, Y, and Z <clears throat> setup. And like, no, you can't. Like, yeah, I can. These are my numbers. No, they're not your numbers. That is a number that you used on a manipulated target dummy. It has very set in stone variables, a very set amount of health, and you're building towards it. So be happy that you got big numbers, but that was all you were building towards. You changed your set when you went into content, so your damage output is different. Your buffs and bonuses that you had on the dummy aren't the same as the ones you have in the group, so your damage is different. And he couldn't understand the reality of that situation. I wasn't calling them a liar, I'm telling them they don't understand how the variables are working. And I said, at the end of the day, you were using, they were using like loads of poison and disease. Have you ever considered someone in your group using Morgan Tongue? That's a prime example of, of this. And um, they're like, no, that said shit. Is it though? Because you just said you've hit your ceiling on your build. Yeah, there's a set there that can give you 10% more to your main damage sources that isn't in your ceiling. So there's room for more improvement. I'm not saying you're doing it wrong. I'm saying there's more to add if you'd like. They got completely offended by it. Completely offended. Couldn't even fathom the fact that I was actually trying to offer some help to make them hit harder. What can you do? Uh, is that Ice Heart, Orders, Frostbite, and Magden. Any potential changes you'd make? Azure Divines? Divinus? Uh, Divinus, however you want to pronounce your name. I cannot do one-to-one -one build stuff on stream. All you are doing is listing sets. There are a fuck ton more variables to consider when it comes to a fully functioning build. You are just underlining sets. If you want to use those sets, go nuts. But the rest of it is honestly up to you. I cannot give you advice on things that are missing. However, I can scale that off stream in one-to-ones where I have a whole hour where you can talk to me about your stuff and things. I can look at all the stuff you have and decide what will and won't work. On stream, that's hard to do because um, other people will expect me to do the same and I can't. I don't want to give you the wrong answer and I don't have all the variables in front of me. Um, I just thought I'd ask. Fair enough. So, you've got a starting point. Go from there. I think a bright flow and bone pirate, but 
full infused damage jewelry and Dunma Stam Sork hybrid running spring filled infusion drunk. I'm infusing. I mean, I'm assuming. God, that was a messed up message. I know what you meant eventually, Jason. Do -do, appreciate it, No worries. Honestly, if I give you a straight answer, I would. But there isn't one for that. You just told me that you're wearing ice sets. Awesome. Skills, passives, bonuses, weapon types, Mundestone food, uh, poisons, potions, who knows? Maybe one or the other. Um, champion points, racial passives, class passives, as well as weapon passives and armor passives. You've got so many things to consider. A build is not just the gear. Lots of people will tell you it is, but it's not. That's a starting point. Arguably, because people argue, that's all. Um, your gear is a... Mm, it's an inaccurate uh, number, but your gear is about a third of your build. Actually, probably less. Um, the way you play is a fucking huge, huge part of it. If you can't play your character well, the gear's not going to make a huge amount of difference. Some does fire off some really shiny shit and uh, is very helpful to whatever goal you're trying to achieve, but um, it's a starting point to a build, not, an, not a fully finished product. Uh, I was thinking of Void, Teva, Hunting, wearing Knucklehead, Radar, and all Discipline armor to double down on grenades. <laughs> right, we'll do one more boss. Um, I use MS Medusa and some on my characters. So, um... Red, the flawless build. Look it up. Or just put flawless in the chat. When that was released, read the comment sections. Read the stupid people telling you you're not allowed to do that. And then the patch after that, read the same stupid people telling you that that's best for all classes, even though that particular patch, when they claimed it to be best, was after they reduced crit chance. So when crit chance was higher, I'm wrong. When crit chance is lower, they're right. That's fucking stupid. It happened. You're too lazy? Well, it happened. Uh, helping people do what you think is a good content creator with builds and websites and videos for every situation, ESO, on any role or platform. Um, shut up, you don't know what you're talking about. This is a joke chat. Oh dear. If he's got jokes. Oh shit. Too lazy to change? You don't have to change. The build itself is using that. Amongst other things, but it was a full crit chance and crit damage build. The problem is most people used to stack crit chance um, without understanding that they need a base to boost the crit in the first place. If you have no base, you're critting all the time. Yeah, great, but you're probably less effective than you would be if you had a really solid base and then crit on top of it. That build was designed specifically to consider that. Um, but on the surface, people went straight to the gear section. When you can't stack crit sets. And then they did exactly that at the patch after and claimed next patch. Bullshit. I have 28 characters and a million builds. One million builds on 28 characters? That's pretty good. Being lazy is fine. Just don't bitch when things go wrong. <laughs> uh, those people are as sharp as a wet sack of mice covered in lard. That. Did you get that off the internet? Because that is... That's quite good for you, Matt. Turtle Swatter, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. We'll kill one more world boss. I said one more two bosses ago, but we're going to kill one more. Fuck it, man. Let's do it. One more. We're going to get the things. That was fast. You'll stack their mums. <laughs> Too late. Someone already did it. One more boss. Of course. I heard Zy likes being covered in lard. You go to some weird websites. And if my name is on it, it shouldn't be. <laughs> I've even stopped crying when I die repeatedly in um, Imperial City anymore. Got my tail bar. Fair. You heard? Yep. I heard. Those two famous words that go before any bullshit statement. Blame your YouTube comments, mate. I am not responsible for those. I just let people ride the waves. They crash, they crash. They get eaten by a shark, they get eaten by a shark. Fuck it. Natural selection in the comment section. Comment section isn't for fucking uh, experts anyway. An expert doesn't even mean what it used to mean. It used to mean someone that knows exactly what they're talking about or someone that knows exactly what they're dealing with. Now it just means a shit canoe on a sofa. <laughs> the comment section is where people can write words. It doesn't make them an expert. It doesn't make them speak for me. 
and it definitely doesn't make them talk to my audience and tell them what they should do instead. Everything you need to know is in the video. Take it or leave it. Jeffrey over there in the fucking comments section. Jeffrey Bumfluff can just do this all he likes. Doesn't make him right. And if he was so good, I don't want to be that guy. Where's your videos? Oh, wait. Expert doesn't teach in comments. No, no, they don't. An expert would be getting paid for their profession, wouldn't they? Imagine that. Uh, do I have to wait to, the bar to do a bar swap after a channeled ability or is there a tick to do damage faster? So if it's a channel, you can't bar swap during it. Um, you have to wait until it's finished. But if you hit block real quick, you'll stop the channel. So if you want to interrupt your own channel, you can. Uh, today is not the sofa. Hello, More like the son. toilet. It's funny. I love that as well. Pro gamer, bro. I... <laughs> Thank you for the chicken attack. I know, I know a couple of people out there are like, I know where you're going with this. Do you? I love it. Pro gamer 420. Thank you very much indeed. You get those people. They go to work and they're like, yeah, I'm, I'm pro gamer, bro. Are you? Yeah, pro gamer. 360 no scope. I'm pro gamer. You're pro. Pro. As in professional. As in your profession. As in you're good enough to be paid for it. You do get paid for it. You play games for a living and get paid for it. Oh, like a professional footballer. Professional footballers get paid, don't they? Because it's their profession. Pro gamers do exist. People do get paid for playing, get, playing games. Myself included. But just because you put bro, pro gamer 420 as your username doesn't make you that. That is like you not knowing what to do, not knowing what to call yourself, and you make your character's name bricklayer101xx love you muchly. Doesn't make you a bricklayer. Uh, most get paid for losing. Liverpool. <laughs> don't fucking tell my dad that. Fucking hell. I don't follow football for shit, but he loves Liverpool, so shh. <laughs> Equalize the game, thank you very much. 51 months, you're an absolute legend. I was saying this yesterday, I was pretty drunk. Wonder why most comments are negative, because all the people enjoying the builds or games are actually playing, not sitting there bitching and arguing on the name of the screen. This is true. Um, unfortunately, if he, and you would have seen this as well, um, there are people that will, will go out there, out of their way to follow you, so that they are alerted first when your stuff goes live, so they can be there first to be a negative prick. Those exist. In fact, more people hit the notification bell that are negative than the positive ones. It's not to say you don't get positive messages, because you do. You get the two extremes. You'll never get someone in the middle that just goes, this is all right. Fair enough. You will get the absolute extreme happy and the absolute depressed, don't watch this guy. He's the worst thing ever. He lies to his audience. He manipulates people. He wants people to be bad so he can be paid. <gasps> My God, if you're ever going to sell a product, don't sell a shit one. Because guess what? No one's coming back. Surprise, people keep coming back. Um, I would be immediately suspicious of anything someone with pro in their username says. Yeah, me too. Um, that's an unusual place to advertise that. Must be because you're on TV. Get in there. Do it. It must be mega. Uh, thanks for all the gears, Sai. I haven't even given you any gear yet. Oh, actually, you got one piece, didn't you? Right. Does anybody in this group need a chest? And does anyone need any weapons? Inferno Staff, Dagger, um, or Resto for the set? Or a Great Sword. If you need... And a Battle Axe, actually. got loads of shit. If you need any of those, whisper me. You can have it. That is a liar, a cheat, and just a really bad person. He also kicked my dog. Seriously, he kicked my dog. Took a flight to the US, came to my house, punted my dog, and went home for no reason. True story. <laughs> Facebook TM. I'm an amateur... Uh, Stitcher it, trying to go pro. Uh, I call my chew toys. I enjoy reminding them that they have an IQ of a toaster. That's pushing it, mate. That thing can actually tell when the, the toast is ready and pop it out. They aren't going to be able to tell that. Those are the type of people that throw a toaster in the bath because they want the warm, the warm water because <laughs> it's too cold. Oh, fucking all the lights went out. Mom, he did it again. If <laughs> mum loves a dog more than them, spend two hours chewing on them. It's a good time. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Timmy threw it in the bath again. 
He needs new braces. <laughs> I love oh god. All around. It is quite funny to see it. It's also soul destroying sometimes because so some people are hell bent on trying to sabotage your entire life. And and those ones are just fucking exhausting because you think, what have you really got? Why? I saw one on Facebook. It was this, this dude, he finally could, did get nuked. Eventually, the mods were way too slow and way too one-sided. But they did nuke him eventually. It's a private group, so what can you do? But the rules are there and he wasn't applying them um, or, or abiding by them. Every single person that spoke my name, he jumped on their comments and tried to tell them that I was some sort of spawn of Satan. Like, any, any hint of breathing my name out, even like one letter of it, was complete blasphemy and you should die. Like, they were that bad. And I'm like, do you know what? You, you, you need a teddy. You need a big teddy. A robotic one. That can punch you straight in the fucking knackers. <laughs> so I ripped all the tags off my mattress, put the toilet paper rolls in my house on a spindle backwards, threw out the box with an instruction of how to cook the frozen dinner and dumped water on my PC case. Evil. Did indeed. That's a true story, actually. Uh, you're right, they have an IQ of hair clogging the drain. That's gross. What the fuck's I? Mummy didn't cuddle him. No. I've said, I've said, um, I've said two statements, because I don't normally respond to stuff like that. I laugh about it, but I don't normally respond to it, because there's no point. It doesn't get you anywhere. It doesn't get them anywhere. They want to waste your time. So if you can calculate when you have a YouTube channel, how many people are watching, like how many subs you have, if you can calculate how long it would take you to spend one minute with each one of them, good or bad, without a break, you'll realize how some people, especially the negative bastards, don't deserve your fucking time. And I don't mean critique, because they're, they're not in a position to critique you. Right? I'm, I'm just talking to people that try to slam your character. Character assassination cunts. Those ones. Um, you don't have time for it, so don't bother. But I, once in a blue moon, do respond. And on live stream and, and in comments, I have two favourites. And they were pulled out of thin air at the time. But um, one of my favourites was... <laughs> do, do you kiss your mum with that mouthful just your sister? That didn't go down well. They didn't like that one. And um, they, they fucking raged. I had the um, you're not allowed to see this type comment section. The review comment section on YouTube was just flooded. Absolutely flooded with this dude losing his shit. It was fucking funny. Um, once a month I get a DM from a person telling me to kill myself. Yeah, that's quite common actually. And they mean it too. They'll give you details. It's fucking crazy. Mummy didn't cuddle him. And the other one is, um... Oh, who hurt you? Can they do it again? <laughs> that don't go that well either. But the problem is when someone's trying to deliberately fucking sabotage your, your life, your career, your job, damage your audience's fucking mentality, or just outright be a dick. Once in a blue moon... It feels good to just just slam someone to the floor. Uh, when I was young, I used to wake me up 10 minutes before I went to bed. Pure psychopath. 100%. And and all the builds are, are no good to anyone. No one has ever learned anything from any of the builds ever. And none of the mechanics, guys. You've never learned anything. You've never achieved anything. It's all lies. It's all lies. <laughs> just realize what uh, kill yourself meant. I was thinking kilometers per second. Yeah, bro. Why don't you kilometers more... Kilometers per second. Why don't you do that? Mate, put car in the chat. What happened? Oh, you left. So, I did say it was a short stream. Um, because yesterday was a short stream and it was longer. So we're going to go in a minute, but I'm going to go deconstruct this shit. I disagree. I learn things. I testify. You're... No. No, DJ. You got something wrong with you up here. That's what they say as well. You got this. This is wrong with you. If you think you learn anything, you've got something wrong with you. You're definitely wrong. Not the person that's hijacking the comment section and persistent as fuck to try and force you to believe with their brainwashing mentalities that everything you think you know is a lie. You got something wrong up here. It's your fault. <laughs> People try way too hard. Way too hard. If you don't like someone, don't engage with them. If you don't like certain content, don't watch it. If you don't like something on TV, don't watch it. 
How many people watch soaps? I don't. I fucking hate them. But how many people in the chat watch the odd soap here and there? Do -do 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 -do. And for those that don't, do you ring up the BBC? Hello, BBC people. Yeah, it's me again. Jabobba. EastEnders is shit. Delete it. I'm, I'm sorry. People like to watch it. No, they don't. No one likes it. It's fucking shit. Delete it. No, it's, it's staying. Well, I'm going to tell those people. That's what the comment section is. I'm going to fucking tell. Your mum don't like you. She don't give a shit what you tell her. <laughs> Is there a truth magic but still gonna gold out my shitty build and try it out? Why not? Yeah, I've, I've got a lot of gold to burn. No problem, Jason. Enjoy it. The creative, I like to think of that with uh, creative with the rest of their life. They'd make something of themselves instead of resembling the dog crap on my shoe when I walk back. <laughs> it's true. It's all lies. Yeah, that's why I'm farming live wire stage with a group of half a dozen lazy sorks. Right. Sapphire and steel. I haven't watched TV in about 15 years. We have it on in the background, but I don't watch anything that has a schedule. Because fuck it. We have a terrible show called MAFS. And you're addicted to it. Okay, fair. Only when I'm in the shower. Why not? Because most people have a TV. And oh, you did a soap joke. The That was terrible. The only thing you did today to contribute to the chat, DJ, was wait for an opportunity to show a shit joke. You hurt my brain. Married at first sight. Oh, that, why didn't you just say that? Tiny drop there. Why don't you just say that instead of gang signing a fucking acronym for it? I wasn't going to pick that up. How would I know what that is? Do I look like I know what that is? I've, I've seen all of them. <laughs> I haven't. I saw one whole series. That's it. And that was, that was enough. It was on. It was addictive for a short period of time. I realized it was utter, utter, utter bullshit. I can't watch that shit. Uh, I just watch whatever you fancy, pretty much. So I have a half-built lazy sock, and I did pledge with uh, Iffy on yesterday because I wanted to do way rest. Found out after that I had no slottables in the CP. I knew I was missing passives. Yeah, you can feel it. If you're used to playing it, you can feel the difference. If you're not used to playing it, he's like, this is great. Can't wait to get some champion points. Um, but yeah, you, you can notice. It's me again. That's zero. It is zero. Right, let me deconstruct this shit. Otherwise, I'll forget. But yeah, people on the internet are fucking comedy gold. And and it's it's so bad that people are actually that thick. Oh, this toxic bro. No, it's real. It's real. Old and tired with a sub, thank you very much. You don't consider people's feelings. I do, all the time. I just also have to underline that there is an abundance of dumb in the world. And <laughs> if the shoe fits, I mean not my fault you wear them. Uh, delete that, delete that. Get rid of those. So, what did we do? Just got three, at least three people with lightning staves, nice and quick. Quick run around some world bosses, everyone's geared. In fact, I didn't even finish the group. We were so successful in that little farm run that everyone fucking left me. Everyone left. Because they're done. How hard was that? So, in-game people, if you're trying to farm something, especially overland shit, do this. Activity finder, group finder, not dungeon finder, group finder. Most people don't even know this fucking exists. Create. Don't press find for fuck's sake because you'll be spamming it, waiting for someone to do something and they'll build so bloody fast you won't, you won't see them. Put create group. Custom. Or zone. And then title it, I'm farming stuff, and give it a description and then have your own rules. And press go. That will fill fucking quick. Not my fault you're wearing them. It's true. I mean, in a precious time where the new buzzword is accountability, and the people that shout accountability all the time think they know it so well. Yeah, accountability, bro. They're not accountable for their own fucking stupidity. The group finished you, it did. And Rianti did awesome, couldn't even tell. Did all three pledges on hard mode, see? Banging. Did you do a pledge to finish? Actually, fuck pledges. Let's do a random DLC. Um, I need my so group, social, leave group. Um, I need three deeps or two deeps in a healer. I don't give a fuck which. We're gonna do a random dungeon before I go. I was gonna leave like five minutes ago, but I lied. 
because I'm a lying creator. Um, we have a terrible shot. I've read that already. Read that as well. I caught up. Where's for me in game? First three people, we're going for it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't give a fuck what level you are. Just make sure you've got some champion points, even if it's fucking 10. If it's below 300, we won't get a DLC. But I don't give a shit anyway. We're doing whatever. Lying lie who lies. 100%. Boing. Whee. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, if I know the answer to something, I'll explain it. If I can. If it's short. If I don't know the answer to something, I won't. Because I don't know it. And that is it. And if I make a mistake, I'll state it. That's a fucking liar. Mm. You precious twat. That's that um, par parasocial shit, though, where people talk to you on the internet and they think they know you. Or people don't talk to you when they think they know you. Like, they think they know actors as well. Do you know how many people know Will Smith? <laughs> Facebook doesn't. <laughs> um, but he did pet a cat, so I have no idea. Oh, I kicked the dog and pet the cat. That definitely didn't happen. That would be the other way around. <laughs> it was only after we were done that I looked at the CP before. Decon and some of the stuff that I saw, I had none slotable. I have actually done that on PCNA recently when I put my Almost Immortal Warrior in there. In fact, when I was on stream last on PCNA, I think it was a takeover with Rav or maybe DJ. Might have been Aura, actually. No, it was Aura. I realized today in a one-to-one -one that I had 150 champion points not slotted. Because I've just been racking them up and just letting them sit there. Doesn't really matter. We need one more person. Oh, Unforgiven Carpet's there. My bad. And, uh... For fun. For those of you that have been paying attention, I do have an Almost Immortal Warrior Infinite Archive variant. That is what I'm now going to use. It is designed to take advantage of Infinite Archive uh, stuff, but it functions just as well as all the other variants of the Almost Immortal Warrior in other content. Unforgiven Carpet, I invited you. Where are you? You're holding up the stream. I'm telling your mum. Thank you. As soon as you say that, I'm telling your mum. Shit yourself. Instant invite. Let's go. Give us something good. If it's Volenfell, we're doing something else. We'll just walk out. Oh, fucking hell. That's shit. We're not doing it. We'll just travel to another one. Fuck this. There's nothing wrong with Wayrest 2. But I was expecting something not quite as straightforward. So let's go scale caller. That was the closest dungeon. That is a bit more difficult. Hate volleyball. Fell too. Volenfell is not a bad dungeon. It's just that I had it on the random dungeon finder seven times in a row on live stream. Between two streams, but it was seven times in a row. Wayrest 3. Yes, that's where we're going. Love scale caller. Is anyone in this group unfamiliar with the first boss? Scale caller in the chat, by the way. Whoa. I need a champion, and you've got the job. We got a VIP membership on YouTube. Thank you very much, Killer. You are a legend. Uh, wasn't getting the invite. I don't know why. Sorry. That's that took too long to type. Let's go. Unforgiven. You're you're. Fuck the details. Travel in. How many people do not know the mechanics for the first boss? There's three. And that is the vampire. Probably. Oh, it's not even scale caller, is it? Might be SC or SCP or SP. I don't remember what the fuck is it. I changed them. SP. It's got to be. It is. It's SP. Right. I'm assuming since nobody spoke up. Except for Unforgiven. While doing this. Then everybody knows what to do. Good. So when the ice is running at you, go and stand in some ice. Brilliant. Thank you for the chicken attack. I uh, just made a new character on Orc named Bathtub Toasters. As if that's n not already taken. That's brilliant. Did you think of it all by yourself or was it in uh, reference to the stream today? <laughs> Don't run away from the ads. Run into me. 
Then I can grab the ad off you. If you run away from ads at default, uh, you run away a lot. Whee! That's for the stream, by the way. Don't do that. If you have to dodge and all that kind of stuff, yeah, fine. But don't go, oh my god, I've got aggro, and run backwards and, and get away from everyone because now it's difficult for the tank. If you expect the tank to just run after you while they've already made a really nice stack of enemies, expect away. Stream made me do it. I'm not holding myself responsible for that, and you shouldn't either. It was all your fault, Zero. That's what you get for being no numbers. Again, this is the Infinite Archive version of the Almost Immortal Warrior. You're running away from stuff again, dude. Bring it in. If it's out of my range, I'm not going to chase you. If I can reach it, I'll get it. Because I'm holding stuff here. Although he's decided to be a, a nub and not move. Stupid ogre. They're dumb. Fiery, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for the resub. So this is something a lot of DPS sisters misunderstand. You're not just there to splat stuff. You're not just there to splat stuff. If people die, pick them up. Let the healer do their job. They can heal you while you're resin. But positioning is key. You don't just stand anywhere and hit stuff. Strategize based on your position and the position of the enemies in order to put yourself in a better spot for the purpose of mechanics. If you are in space while everybody else is in Gratwood, you aren't hitting anything. Nine times out of ten, it makes things more difficult. There's always that one DPS running at the back going left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Well, really, they need to come in and actually use that close range skill that kills stuff. You get the idea. It's a very vague scenario, but still, people don't consider that their placement is important. Be careful fighting those two. Here we go. Kill them both at the same time. Ish. Bong. I don't have Warhorn on. Whoops. When he stumps, you got to get in the ice. There's the stump. Done. Easy peasy. Yes, beautiful. Everybody did it. We win. Come on, stop trying to hit me and hit me. Name the movie. One of you must know and don't Google it. That's cheating. If you Google it, I will know. Uh, hide behind the ice. Hide behind the eyes. More faster, unforgiving carpet. Otherwise, you'll be unforgiven over there being dead. No, you're not listening at all. There we go, eventually. As if I had to use stream delay to get you to stand behind the ice. You have got to pay attention. That could have been really dangerous. Matrix, Bambi. Yep, definitely in Bambi. Scarface, yeah, that movie too. Banging. That was mega, but you almost died. Focus. You all know which movie it's from. So back here, what was the question? I'm not going to repeat the question just because you missed it. It was quiet on the Western Front. <laughs> so you've all got such great knowledge of movies. That was a joke, by the way, for those at the back that are like, hey, that's not what it's from. No. Stupid minion. Get off. Matrix, that was, you cheated, Bad Quanta, because you said it after everyone else already said it. I'm telling Zero's mum about that. Is this a vet dungeon? Yes, it is. No, in the dungeon. So, um, this boss, very fucking simple. Very simple. Put SP in the chat. I will explain as we kill the gargolies. So, tank, hold the boss fucking still. Everybody else, stay as close, as close, as high elfly possible. You mean as humanly possible? Yes, that was the joke. How good was that? Stay as close as you fucking can. That way, if anyone gets put into stone, i.e. the tank, hopefully, because I'll taunt the orbs, you can break them free. If you don't break them free and you just YOLO deeps, you're a twat. I was going to sugarcoat it, I won't. If you just do that and yellow deeps, you're a twat. There is a visual and a sound. The visual is a laser beam turning the tank into an into a stone structure. The sound is like a tss 
sound. You must break them free instantly. You need to be closer. Mind your feet, yes, but stay close. Your focus should be dodging the shit on the ground, but staying close. That thing is, if it doesn't die, is going to turn me into stone. Listen to the sound. Hear that? The steam sound? If I have to press hello, that is tragic and you weren't paying attention. Someone's in stone. Gotcha. And again. Someone's not paying any attention whatsoever. You were lucky. That was very slow. You got to be faster. I got him. I got him. And again. Ah ha ha. So, reaction times are not great, but they're better than some of the situations I've seen in the past. Okay, now they're much quicker. Come on, come on. Pay attention. Gotta go. Thank you very much. Uh, trust your DPS. Scary. Most people fuck that up because what they do is they see the laser and they go like this. Oh no! I'm in stone! Someone get me! I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm leaving. So, if the tank taunts the orbs, the tank is the one that's going to get pinned. If not, someone else is. Either way, if you see someone go, and they're stuck in stone, run over and break them out with the synergy very fast. If you hear the steam, like a sound, the same thing has happened. Go and break them out. If you do anything other than run straight to that person and break them free, you're an idiot. Because your rotation is not important right now. It doesn't matter how many buttons you're pressing. The boss isn't impressed. Your friend is dead. He will heavy attack him and kill them. You've got to break him out. But the trick is to stay as close as possible. Because then that alleviates that situation where the gap is too large. You need to be close. So stay close. Move your feet away from the lasers if you have to. But your key focus should be getting close. So that if someone is stuck, you are already in position to break them out. That's in the video. It's incredibly effective. Yes, there's an achievement where no one must get put in stone at all and you can kite them around the room. But once you've done that once, you never have to do it again. People that run away in that fight understand the fight less than they think. Whee! Does a gargoyle have cleave? Bear in mind, the internet has taught people wrong about that particular word. Okay, so cleave is normally a frontal AoE swing in the form of a cone. Area of effect is anything that is an area hit, including cleave. Cleave is a type of area of effect. They are two different types. Does it have a frontal cleave? Not exactly. It does have one small one, but essentially you can just kind of stand there. The main issue is his heavy attack. When you're in stone, he will do a single target hit. You've got to watch for that. The pain in the ass. His flurry isn't like that of the other gargoyles. He's not the same as the one you'll get in Hell Row and shit like that. Those ones do have a frontal uh, cleave stroke breath effect. Um, you don't want to stand in front of those. But Dolly Mesh, you can, you can stand in front of him. Does the gargoyle have a cone on his head? With a flake in it. Become a Twatterborn for Srodar. Yes, sure, why not? Actually, Killer Trent is the Dragonborn. A lot of people seem to say cleave when they mean heavy attack is weird. No, they, they don't. They say cleave when they mean area of effect. People have been taught incorrectly. They think that cleave is a cool word to use for all area of effect. It's not. Area of effect is the words to use for all area of effect. Cleave is a type of area of effect. It's a frontal cleave, normally in a conal effect. There's even a skill called cleave to demonstrate what a fucking cleave is. But you can't fight that because stupid has already won. Oh, and as, as stupid is, I just missed the fucking mechanic for it. That there, you see the geyser? That's to teach you what's to come. So this group is going to play very nicely. And they're going to stay close to the middle and dodge attacks if they need to. But um, I am going to try and block the geyser so you don't die. And you are going to nuke the boss. As long as you've got ultimates. I hope you do. Watch out for this one. You're going to watch your feet, though. This is going to be very tricky because you've got to spot a white AoE in white. My headset's dying. So I need to keep spinning. Where the fuck is it? 
I can't see it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. No, I don't. Where the fuck did it go? Oh, I did get it. Only just. There's several ways to do this, boss. Um, the simple way is to hold her in the middle, taunt the ads if you can. Well, that, no, that's the complicated way. The complicated way is to nuke the fuck out of the boss, but at the same time, watch your feet. And also, um, be mindful of the nerds. But there's a geyser that pops up on the ground. You have to run to it as a tank, stand in it, and block it. Otherwise, everybody dies. But they're all hard anyway. The easier way to do it is to calm the fuck down. Because that boss has very, very low, um, health. So you can accidentally nuke it. If you want to make it easy on yourself, watch your dots. Do 10% damage. 10. And an ad will spawn. Then kill the ad. Do 10% more. Then an ad will spawn. Then kill the ad. And repeat, repeat, repeat. If you do that, the, the guys and mechanic won't be a problem. You won't overburn and it will be easy peasy. But if not, the room's going to get full very, very quickly. One Nerid will, or Lemonade will spawn every 10%. So if you slow the fuck down and just pace it very, very calmly, you'll have a really easy fight. They did that on purpose because they knew people were going to go in and steamroll it. Um, so steamrolling is a choice, but it's also very risky. Why don't you just put it in the door? Because that is cheesing and it doesn't teach anyone anything about mechanics. And if they were to ever fix that, so you can't just hide behind the zone in area, then you wouldn't know what to do. Much like they did with, uh, what's his fuck in um, March Sacrifices. Why don't you just stand outside the door? Then the gate shuts and you can fight the boss on his own without the ads. They fix that stuff eventually. So cheesing doesn't work all the time. Know the mechanics so that if anything does get fixed, you're fine. It's, and, and besides which, the series is called All About Mechanics, not All About Cheesing. What'd you do? You're doing soft mode. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Yes! Boing. Visually, though, that, that room is quite bright in comparison to what it usually is. Cough, banish cells, cough. I think you've got a cold. This room teaches you the next room. So, look around the room. There's loads of geysers everywhere or grills. And you see that one there? Watch. Now, the group doesn't die. Stand in it until it's gone. Hold and block. Nobody dies. But if you don't do that, they're dead. Now, the trick is to look at the, the structure of the room, the layout. If you're in the middle, and I have to go over there, I have to go over there, I have to go over there, or there, or whatever, I'm relatively... The same distance away from the furthest ones each time. So I'll only ever have to go there, which is a couple of steps, or there, which is a couple of steps, or there, which is two or three steps. It's not that far. But if I stand over here, and that one over there where my cursor is lights up, I'm never going to fucking make it. Use the room properly. Use the middle of the room as your safe space, and that makes your distance to each one shorter, so less room for error. Or more room for error, even. Just lots, lots more uh, forgiveness. Had to do that in a group and kept getting orbs three. Oh, shit. Uh, I'm in the wrong place. I don't want to stand in that. <gasps> Ninja loot. Found a chest. There's always a chest. Not today. Mm, found a funny. Mike, I the funniest. <laughs> Them take care of this one. So, same again. This room. Massive. All the grills on the ground, any of them, can spawn that mechanic. So you as the tank want to hover around the middle and keep an eye on your camera. Uh, lose to stupid all the time, but that's Cyrodiil for you. I mean, it is, but this isn't Cyrodiil. There's enough stupid there, though. This is one of my favorite bosses, actually. You kill ads that he calls out, that the... the alchemist calls out and then you get a buff so hold him in the middle as much as you can the gorilla's over there i don't have far to go block it now nobody takes any damage then come back in and keep an eye on the room 
As the tank. I know there's a lot going on, but just keep an eye on the room. Ah, oh, easy one. Look at that. Use the middle. I nearly stepped off of it then, but before it finished. <laughs> Who fired? Scotty Lee Gaming, thank you very much. Keep an eye on your camera. Look for the splutters in the grills. Again, hover around the middle as much as you can as a tank. As long as you maintain a taunt, you just got to look. He says, where the fuck is it? Oh, we have the mechanic. This part here, there's going to be an ad. Bring it in as fast as possible. That dude needs to be in here. With the boss. He'll die before he's even fucking finished with that mechanic. Unless you don't get him in quick enough. In which case, you're in trouble. He hits really hard. Spin camera. I'm not moving around the room. Just spin the camera. That's it. Do, 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 do. Oh, there it is. Dab you. And again, always hover around the middle as much as you can. The group can run around and do different shit. They might have to, but the tank needs to be in the middle. If you make it so that you're on either side of the room, you might have to do a full length of the room to save the group. And that, that they're dead. It's a waste of time. He's dead anyway. Such a cool boss. I do teach this in the mechanics videos. Always look at the room. It's not just there to look pretty. They lay it out in such a way that you can figure out the puzzle. Because it technically is. And again, if I was standing over here, holding the boss in the corner like a good boy, and that over there was lit up, all sparkly and spludgy, I would have to do this. That's tragic. Group's dead before I even get there. Hover in the middle, make the distance shorter. Lizzie, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Ducky Fuzz, also welcome. Sean said hello as well. Uh, no chest. Got kicked once by my wife on that boss. True story. I believe it. DJ gets beat up on the weekends. Um, last boss can be relatively simple if people understand the three major mechanics that happen and how to con how to uh, put yourself into a formation here. See that gap between those two dragons and the other one here? Either one of those two, stand in a straight line aiming at that gap. Because the poison will be on that line. It'll be left or right. Then when you hear it or see it, just move. One step. Don't try and dodge roll because if it's already on you, it's too late. You're dead. So stand here. First phase, you won't see it anyway. There's three major mechanics. The, the breath. A heavy attack and a dawn breaker. Dawn breaker will knock you over. That one. Get out of it. Come back in. Then you've got to kill the icicles. They have to die. And then once they're dead, get in the big shield. My shield! There it is. Stand in it. First phase. Now we're going to get the poison. You see how the line comes across the room? That's what you're looking for. She's going to do one of three mechanics when she comes out. I'm in the line already. I'm in the line. Sleggy's dead. Uh, we overlap. We overlap mechanics. Never mind. Uh, I'm not going to get you at this phase. I'll get you on the next one. Shield. Don't even try it. You'll die. Again. One mechanic as soon as she gets up. The stand in line here. Uh, get in the way. Now watch. Poison's coming. Watch this line. <gasps> See how easy that is? Never chase her there. She'll come to you eventually. Right, you got to get out of that. That will aim at you. you got to move. Hey, Always remember the line? Yes. That was close. She's going to do a mechanic as soon as she fucking lands. I might be able to get you. See that poison? Nowhere near me. 
Now, if it was on this side instead, all I'd have to do is that. Just move ever so slightly. Never get caught in the middle of the room. See, I just taunted her and fucked off again. Don't get caught in the middle of the room. Doesn't matter how clever you think you are, how fast you think you are, you're dead. Shield. You always want to be in that line. Left or right, doesn't matter which side, but you always want to be in the line. So again, as the tank, every time I've got her attention, doesn't matter what she's doing mechanically, I'm standing here. Whether that is here or all the way back here is irrelevant. That poison will go left or right. If it lands where you're standing, just do that. Just that. And on hard mode, exactly the same. Line up in a straight line while you're dealing with the ads, while you're dealing with the boss. Stand in that straight line all the time. This side or that side should be your first thought. Always go there. That way when the poison lands, you just go this way or this way. It makes the mechanics 10,000 times easier. Boing! Right. That's me done. I said it was going to be a short stream. I lied. Uh, good group. Well done, peeps. Thank you, Jason. Right. SP in the chat if you want the guide for that particular dungeon, including the hard mode, obviously. Thank you for that. If you are not subscribing on YouTube or following on Twitch, hit those buttons. They are free. Furthermore, if you want to help support the channel outside, there are some links in the info section or just put socials in the chat for Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, the website, ZonaGaming.com. Thrown Patreon, buy me a coffee and merch. You can buy t-shirts and blankets and stuff and things. You can buy coffee, which is actually beer. And you can get perks that will include Discord access. Yes, private Discord channels and loads of other stuff. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. on the ride.